What's up, everybody? It's your girl Jay. Don't play here with another episode of Playing with Jay. How's everybody doing tonight? It's Tuesday. Started off as a beautiful day. Hello, bad influencer. Thank you for stopping in. Welcome. Appreciate you. What's going on, everybody? Let me uh, click on something here. Sure, everybody's watching Beard and Risha's, or maybe still on, what was it, Mr. Buddy Biggs doing his 1,000K subscriber giveaway. Congratulations to Mr. Biggs. Um, I guess you are the only one in here. What's going on? Yeah, Buddy's still going strong. Now is going to win oh. a brand new Oops. Nuka Acupoint Pinpointer. He is still on there. Um, I do have a guest for you guys tonight. Um, I see that he's in here, but I don't see his face. Maybe soon he's coming in. Maybe I'm just having an internet problem. I don't know. But yes, I do have a guest for you tonight. Um... I think tonight might be bad timing, though, only because Buddy Biggs is still doing his 1K giveaway. And then we also have uh, Iron Antlers with their premiere right now. Um, I was trying to figure out scheduling with them to make that work. Um, I don't see you, hon. I see like you're there, but you're not. Like, I don't see your face. Maybe I should text him that. Mm. But yes, I did have a guest tonight to introduce. Let's see. Let's see. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and bring this person on stage and see. Hello. Hello. I hear something. All right. Well, that's me. I don't know why my camera is being ridiculous. I don't know. Are you using StreamYard? Um, I am actually on my iPad right now. Okay. Yeah, because I can hear you. It's just a blank screen. It's all black screen. Uh, maybe if I leave and try to come back, that's a possibility. All right, because this, this is the this is the this is the first time I've used Streamyard. Okay. So I'm and I'm on Safari. So. Hmm. Let me see what happens if I leave, come back. Yeah, try I'll to get right. that, It'll be the same exact link. Okay, I'll let me see what happens here. I'll be right back. No problem. We'll give him a chance there. Maybe he can come right back with us. Maybe we can get a visual, see what this man looks like. He's definitely a man. I've talked to him. Oh, you guys. Sorry, I was a little unorganized myself today. I was uh, at a friend's grave. Today is his birthday. And he passed away a couple years ago. It was my best friend. So, you know, I had to go. Everyone was there. We did a quick little bloom release for him and everything. Um, still don't see my guest yet. Mm. Let's see. Buddy's still alive, though, for sure. I see that. I don't see anything about the premiere from... Oh, here it is. Okay, it looks like the premiere is over, but I don't. Everyone's probably in Buddy's live tonight. Not gonna, not gonna lie, he's doing giveaways. And I see the crazy Brockton's over there with them. Oh, that's where everybody's at. 
And welcome, babe. Thank you. I'm, I'm so glad you got your bracelets. Um, I am hearing that more and more people are starting to get them. So good. There we are. I see your face, I think. There we go. Hey, what's up, everybody? I can see your face now. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that's my ugly mug. Your mug? That's okay. We all got some mugs. But everybody who has joined us, um, this is River City Metal Hunter. He is from Virginia, and I wanted to bring him up here to say hi and meet everybody because you're part of Team Brute, aren't you? I am Team Brute. Team Brute. Well, we're all Team Kratos over this way, honey. So, hey, look, like like I said in the chat we had the other day, it doesn't matter the brand. We all part of the same family trying to accomplish the same thing. Yes, definitely. Definitely. Um, so the only problem with my life tonight, besides I was unorganized because of my friend's memorial, because today was his birthday, um, is... Our buddy, uh, buddy Biggs here is having a live because he hit a thousand subscribers. So he's doing a giveaway. So a nice, lot of people nice. are over there. The Iron Antlers also just had a premiere. So I know a lot of people are sitting over there. Um, like it, it looks like I only have three people in the room at the moment, but we're all still here. Um. So what got you into magnet fishing? There was a lot of questions I wanted to ask you the other day, but I didn't ask you just because I wanted to save them for today so you weren't repeating yourself to me, okay? Uh, uh, no, that's fine. I'm, it, that's actually, it was weird. I was sitting at work. Um, I'm a corrections officer by my, in my full-time job. So okay. I, I had a little bit of downtime. So, and it was right as COVID was getting ready to, to like, it was on that like beginning part of the end of covid or whatever mm -hmm. and i'm sitting here watching I'm sitting in the, my office because i work in the kitchen and mm -hmm. i'm just i'm looking at youtube looking at youtube and I, and I see the outdoor weeklies channel yes this mr is, bryce yes bryce is an awesome individual um that from what i can tell um i've talked to him briefly a little bit but that was about it um and I was like, hey, I can do that. So from the, from the beginning, I I was like, screw it. I got on Amazon and ordered my first magnet. Because I didn't know what I was looking for. It just, right. hey, I need a mag I need a magnet. Of course. So so I got this little $80, $90 magnet at, from Amazon, went down to the river and started just pulling up scrap metal, found a few mm -hmm. things lost my first magnet got stuck on something couldn't get no it off. way yeah like day one i was like ain't that some sh so i went and ordered another one on the spot as i was driving away from the river i'm on amazon ordering another magnet and then i continued going with it and then i met up with a bunch of people who from Virginia, and we, we started magnet fishing together. Mm -hmm. And I went and jumped into their group, and then Brute Magnetics contacted me. Nice. And they had been watching my socials. At, like I started on Instagram, and they put me on, they put, got started, she started watching my socials, and she contacted me and said, hey, you should become an affiliate. Okay. So I did. And I rolled into Brute Magnetics. I gave my nephew his first magnet. So I got the next generation starting with it. Good. Uh, and then I got the group I was starting. I, was, I joined, started going with Brute. Except for one guy, he stayed with Kratos. Um, so he uh, or we we started doing more th things, more events together, and then the the three people I 
got in with, we started to break away from the main group and we created our own group. And now that group is getting ready to go on like a full ambassador program for Brute. And we got, they're, they're going to be using some of our ads and stuff, our pictures okay. and stuff in, in uh, media. Okay. So we're, and I, I'm, I'm not trying to take it. I'm, do you mind if I like promote something? I'm sure, I guess. I, I know it's, it's your, it's your live. So I, I, I want to ask and be respectful of your lives. So what are we promoting? <laughs> um, well, we are actually my little subgroup from the one that we started separately is getting ready to create uh social media presence on all platforms um okay. it's gonna it's gonna go by a brute traveler because okay. we, we we kind of did a little play on words with the band blues traveler okay we travel, okay. we travel all over the well like all over the state of virginia we've gone to north carolina um they've gone to philly and stuff like that and i'm I getting ready to go my boy just got back from wisconsin and doing a couple things up there and I'm getting ready to go on a ridiculous excursion, that biggest trip I've ever taken in anything. Okay. Um, and we're going to be getting that social media presence just for the group, and as long as still having our own thing. Awesome. And what is the name of that one more time? Brute Traveler. Brute Traveler. Everybody look up Brute Traveler for some more magnet fishing adventures. Yeah, if it hasn't, I'm, we're gonna we're actually having a meeting tomorrow to decide on how we want to do it and whatnot. So that really hasn't kicked off yet, but it will be coming this week. Okay. Possibly Sunday evening, it'll be we'll go live with it. Now, the other day when we were talking to you, mentioned something about I think you said it was going to be in D.C. Any yes, events that you guys do to raise money, but that was on um, Global Magnet Fishing Day? Yes, yes. How long have you guys been doing that? Um, we This is going to be our second year doing Global Magnet Fishing Day. Last year, we did it not raising money for anything because we didn't, we were still trying to feel it out. Okay. And this year, I came up with the idea of why don't we do it for charity? Yes. It, 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 it started out as we're going to go up to DC, get go magnet fishing and anything we find scrap wise, we're going to okay. turn it in and take the money we, we get and take it and donate it to the DC central kitchen. Awesome. But awesome. and I, I ran that by my contact at brute and she was like, well, you should do this and you should do this and you should do this. And it blew up to where, I'm waiting to hear back on permits and we're doing giveaways and we're contacting local newspapers and radio stations. And like, we've you we remember in, that awesome lady, Jen, I told you about. Yes. I've actually been in contact with her. Yes. You should actually ask her about the event because her and her husband, Clay, the rusty magnets, they mm -hmm. have, I want to say this is like the fourth year in a row, maybe the third, I might be wrong. Um, but they do an event and it's called trash for cash. Um, okay. last year we did it in Beloit, Wisconsin. This year it is in, I think it's in Nashville. They're doing, uh, last year we did St. Jude's. Okay. Uh, I want to say it was like seven or eight grand. I might be off on numbers. If anyone's got any info for me in there in the chat, like I said, today's, today's live is going to be different because like I said, iron mag or iron magnets. Iron Antlers are doing their premiere and Buddy Biggs is doing his 1K giveaway. And I actually just won something over there. <laughs> nice. Uh, I want a AccuPointer. So now I have to buy a metal detector because I'm definitely going to want to try this. So it is third year. Okay. I have two metal detectors. If I can oh. recommend one. it's a no, I, I haven't even like, honestly, you know, I'm one of those people that will Google something before I buy it. I haven't even begun to Google metal detectors because I'm just still so fascinated with my magnet fishing life. But every time yeah. I watch these videos, like I said, from the iron antlers, they're always getting me into it. There's something about their videos. 
because they do both magnet fishing and metal detecting. Well, Beard does a lot more than that, but that's definitely two things that are on their channel is the metal detecting and um, the magnet fishing. So um, I watch their premieres all the time. Their premieres are usually right before my live, but I did bump my live up because I was trying to experiment with something. So that's why I'm at seven instead of 730 like normal. Um, but yeah, I just won that. So now I'm going to have to look into metal detectors. What do you use? You metal detect them too. Yes, I have a Mind Lab Vanquish 340. It's like uh, it, Mind Lab is a great company. They, um, but this is one of their low end, be, like beginner models. Um, okay. It's 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 good. I also have an old. I did, man. Fit Fisher metal detector. Okay. And I don't really use because it's all analog, and I don't know. I don't understand it yet. Okay. But I. Uh, I need to get out and do that more, but can you see any of the comments or no? No. Okay. Um, there are a few people, a few more people have jumped in here. Um, the rusty magnet said it is the third year. Um, that it was $6,500 raised. And then I see bad influencer. It says I used to go with rogue magnets, then went to Kratos. I'm telling you one thing about Kratos and I can't speak on rogue or, um, brute, but the owner of Kratos is awesome. He is one awesome guy. He gets out there with us for the events. Um, he wears this costume that looks like the logo. Like he is awesome. Awesome guy. Always there to help out when needed. And, you know, I sent him some of my wristbands and my stickers as well, which I did put yours in the mail this weekend. Um, I appreciate that. Yeah, some of the other people, like some, it was taking like two to three weeks to get to them. Some well, people the mail's been running everything. slow. Like, yeah, my, my I, I talked to the lady at the post office and she said that everything everywhere is almost a month behind. So yeah. I have been getting people telling me that they're starting to get them. And I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, the Rusty Magnet said that they started with Rogue as well. And then Kratos got us. Arky's in here. So yeah, I know like, you, can't I, see, you can't see these comments, but yes, there is Tin Man's in here. Keep digging metal detectants in here. The Rusty Magnets, the Bad Influencer, Arky Treasure Hogs is here. Um, let me. Okay, I just opened the comments. I hit the uh, chat tab, and I was able to. Now I'm able to see the comments, but it, like I see you through the chat lines. Right. Let me see. Yeah, I'm not sure. You're on an iPad, and if you're not using StreamYard, then I, I'm just yeah. barely getting used to this stuff. <laughs> like, I'd never heard of StreamYard until today, but I'm on StreamYard.com. Okay. So I, uh, I'm just trying to figure that out as we go. So. The bad influencer says, I got your bracelet and I wear it every day. And for everyone who didn't see last week's live, he put my sticker next to this sticker on his truck. Do we all know what that means? <laughs> Shocking. Shockingly surprised that he put it there. Thank you, bad influencer. <laughs> Made well, my I mean, day. I I mean, I guess he doesn't have the name bad influencer for being a good influencer. You know, and I have such good conversations with him. He cracks me up every time, just every time. Um, well, who that's else good. That's in? And from my muddy mess, stuck on news here. Um, Treasure Coast Magnet Fishing. Esther, my neighbor stopped in to say hi. Traveling Hobbyist Adventures. Ken from Ken and T's County Seed Adventures. Um, sorry if I missed anybody. I started from the bottom, then jumped to the top. Sada stopped in. Hello. I'm telling you, these people are a great group of people. They are hilarious. Um, I've enjoyed when I met most of them in Beloit. I mean, most of these people were just downright awesome. Just awesome from the jump. So I'm glad to have you up here. Yes, everyone. Again. Oh, Ben is a funny guy. You've been asked for better CEO of a magnet company. That's for sure. You know what, Tin Man? He sent me that Kratos sticker. 
I actually put it on the front windshield of my vehicle, kind of off to the corner in the driver's side. And Ben wrote back, that's pretty awesome. I might have to do it to my own vehicle. So me and Ben can be twinsies. That'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah. um, Hi, Brayden. I've got nothing but respect for anybody who uses Kratos. Because like I said, and we talked about, we're all doing the same thing, trying to make the world a better place one throw at a time. And... You know, we all try to do this. We all try to are trying to clean up the rivers and but leave it better for the next generation. And oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I mean, there's so many questions that, like I could just sit here and interview with, but I don't want to like annoy you or bore you. But to this day, no, hang on a minute. You said you were at work. You were watching these YouTube videos. When did this start? Um, 2022. Okay. So you got a couple years in you? Yeah. I I, I I started watching them and I was like, man, that looks cool. Because they, they were pulling out cool stuff. And I'm like, I want to find cool stuff. Yeah. You know I what actually, I found out on my very first day out? What? A huge safe. Nice. And that is what hooked me. That moment right there, I, I was stuck. Oh, we have face the ace. Welcome. This is your first live. Let's make sure you get a wrench really quick. Welcome everybody, especially if you're jumping over from Buddy Biggs or the Iron Antlers. I appreciate you guys for coming in here again. Um, sorry, but yes, my first day I, I found a safe. What is your favorite find in this past two years? Um, I actually have a plastic tote at the foot of my bed with all my favorite finds in them. Oh, well, anything you want to pull out and show me? <laughs> I, if you if you give me like two seconds, I can That's do all that. you need? <laughs> yeah, it... Wow. I'm sorry. I'm the perverted one out the group. I'll admit it. <laughs> hey, hey, it, it is all good. I am. The rest of I mean, two... called me obnoxious one time. I mean, two seconds is a long streak for me. Oh, well, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yes, everybody, please go look this guy up. He is a part of Team Brew, but we're still loving and accepting of people. I found uh, Mr. Kevin here on the Tiki Taki because I finally made one like a week and a half ago. Um, let's see. I'm going to hit the right button. Move dog. River City Metal Hunter. That's who we're talking to today, guys. So, Arky, excuse me, baby. I am not corrupting any of you, maybe the rest of them, because Arky, you right there, and you be sharing my post from Facebook, and I be sharing yours. We definitely got the same type of mindset, so don't say I'm corrupting any of nothing. So I don't know if you could see this right here. This is the tote of treasure. The tote. I see the tote. What's in that tote? Um, show me. Show me. Um, now, I've never done this on YouTube before. So okay. I'm used to going live on TikTok. Is I've seen that. What 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 can I show on here? Um, I think when it comes to YouTube, I don't think it matters because it's artifacts. Um if you think you shouldn't, then don't. How about that? Just to be safe. No. Oh, oh, hang on. Rusty Magnet said no weapons. No pew pews. Okay. Well, I will just tell you, I have two of those from the late 1800s in here. Awesome. Um, and then a piece of a BB gun, a couple of uh, knives. Okay. Um, this... Being that I work law enforcement, this was actually one of, this is probably one of the coolest finds I've ever had. No way. Yeah, it's an ass baton. It's, it's a little, it's messed up, but. But it still works a little bit. That is yeah. awesome. So what I'm planning on doing with this, the two pew pews from the late 1800s, mm -hmm. is I'm going to put them in like a resin epoxy type thing. Okay. Okay. Just play them. Just, Yes. Um, we used to have a, a riverboat here that they got rid of because it sank. Okay. Part of it, they, I found part of it in the bottom of the river. And is that just like a detail piece? 
Yeah, this was like in the the hand railings. Oh, okay, okay, that's awesome. Um, I wish I could find the 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 like the handle plate for the safe that I found. I found like a a solid steel or whatever handle plate with a brass ring around it. That's awesome. But I cannot remember for the life of me where I put that. Um, a so besides old, weapons, I know you've got some other stuff in there. This is a old railroad hammer. Okay. Um, a bunch of railroad spikes. Um, now, do you clean your items and make some videos of them, on those? Some of them I do. Um, but I, ha I haven't got to these because I just recently moved a month ago. Um, so Jen, I think I Jen's really asking you a I'm question. Get... I'm pretty sure this question's from you, from Jen, but it says, Kevin, the Queen Anne? Um, no, it's uh, the Annabelle Lee. The Annabelle Lee, okay. Um, now, out, outside I have a fully intact working grocery cart. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, um, don't, don't remind me of grocery carts. I found a an entire steering column, steering wheel, gearbox, column, brake pedal from a 67 Mustang. No way. Yeah. Now, was um, the rest of the cart on there, or do you think this was just something they disposed of? I, I don't know. Personally, I in personally, I think it's just something that was disposed of, but secretly, I hope the rest of the car is down there. <laughs> Okay. Not that, not to the point where somebody got hurt or whatever. It's just kind of be cool to find a, a whole car. Yeah. Um, I have a counterweight for something. Okay. Is it? Does um, it have the hole in the top? Yeah, right here. Okay, I think those. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. I think those are window weights. Oh, maybe. Because they used to have it where, like, where you would like lift the window and the weight would actually like hold it on the other side so that it wouldn't come back down. Okay. That makes I sense. I think that's what you could probably like Google it and just look it up out of curiosity. Like I, th I think that's what that might be. Okay. I'm um, see, I'm glad I'm, I got up with y'all cause I don't, some of the stuff I have. Not us. He's in Virginia. Richmond, Virginia. I'm in the capital city. Um, somebody, Jen's asking if you can show that bigger. Can you bring that more closer to the camera? I think the weight is what she wants to see. The weight? I think Yeah, so. this is a, tur a turbo from a car. Oh, and bad. Oh, I can't even say that. Awesome. <laughs> um. And then can you just turn it to the side just a little bit? Yeah, I, I think that's a window weight. It, it's, this Arky is only like the said, top half of it. Arky says sash window weight says that he got two of them in Racine, Wisconsin. Okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's what I think that is. That window weight, Jen said. Yeah. And I found this. I don't know what I don't know exactly what it is, but I thought it was cool. Yeah, I can't tell what that is for sure. But some of the stuff I like just to leave like the way I pulled it out of the river. Like this is a bench from one of the benches on the boat. Awesome. Um, so the whole couple, boat sank? Well, like the back end of it. Okay. Um, and then, like, I find a lot of fishing, a, a lot of fishing stuff. Like lures and stuff? L lures, fishing knives. You know, I just terrible. recently was told when I went to Wisconsin with all of them, um, with the Rusty Magnets, I should say. Um, I'm sorry, I had a brain freeze because I was reading something that they told me that like some of these lures still sell for like ten and fifteen dollars a piece. Yeah, what what my, my my group and I have done is we started collecting them. Okay. And if we go somewhere where there are people a lot are fishing a lot, and they're looking for a certain weight or something, we'll just give them whatever size weight they need. Okay. And it also helps with you know, getting to a spot, kind of like a little bribery thing, get them to a spot where, get us to a spot where we want to fish and be like, hey, I'll give you this if we can just slide past you. 
but okay. I off, I have a I have a thing. I love finding locks. I don't okay. know why. So I got this is probably one of the ones in the better shape. Did you see that video I have about the locks? Nah, maybe. It is I, on TikTok, and I'm pretty sure I put it on YouTube as well. But when I was up there in Wisconsin with the Rusty Magnets, I do not remember the name of the town that we were in. Um, but there was a pier that we went on to, and there was just thousands of locks, thousands of them. And I'm not talking the typical master locks. Like some of these were in the shape of lions and fish and hearts. And that's, I mean, just that's crazy. I think there was owls. There was locks that it, you know how some of them you have to spin to get the number to a lineup. Yeah. Well, this one actually had letters. I've never seen one with letters. I made a joke about one of them. I was like, oh, this is the lock that you use to put on your shackles because it looks so old. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, I got, I just lost where it went. I hear this. Like, this is actually a master lock that's still attached to a chain that's been forever within nice. the river forever. Would you stop being nosy? Um, this is one of the railroad spikes that I, the only one that I kept. I uh, I cleaned it up a little bit. I was gonna make it make a knife out of it. Okay. But I haven't got that far yet. Man, I must have missed something. Jen said that last thing is a foot. Jen, which thing was a foot? Was that part of the bench? This. He says, "Show the foot." You can you bring that just a little closer to the camera? Is that a prosthetic limb? Um, I don't think so. I thought it was a bench leg. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's got to be a bench leg. It has to be. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to find a prosthetic foot. She said no. Is that not the right item? The other weight or after the weight. I'm sorry, after the weight. This. Is that the foot, Jen? Mm. Maybe it goes like that. I don't know. Very I just thought it was cool. She said but, yes. Okay. So, Jen, are we talking like a prosthetic? Really? I mean, and I must say, they have a super awesome collection in their house. She said it, yes. It does look like a heel. You know, the more I look at it, the more it does. That's, huh. That's different. She said, like a claw foot tub. Oh, so it would go like this. Huh. Okay. I can see that. Very interesting. Yeah, I, I when I went to their house, they've got this bookshelf right when you walk in the living room. And they have some awesome finds that they've cleaned up. Oh, she said upside down. <laughs> Um, I can I honestly say though, so out of their out of their bookshelf, my favorite find was the coin mechanism that waitresses used to carry around, like on their apron. Oh, that would be cool! Cool to find. Um, oh. we found poker chips, which um, riverboat cruisers would use as entry tokens. Okay. And somewhere in there, that it's magnetic. I'm not sure exactly where. Um, like I said, I found a lot of railroad stuff. This is like a railroad plaque of some kind. It says railroad number cab 0 0.37. I just can't see. Sh I can't see shit right now. Tie number one, track number two. <laughs> what? Uh, what else was that? And then, you know, you got your standard, like, nuts and bolts and stuff. Okay. But this was all on the shelf at my, my old apartment and haven't really, didn't have a lot of space. So I just threw it in the tote and kept it moving. I'm going to ask you because I just found my first one and I'm still pretty geeked about this. Okay. But have okay. you found a Caltrop yet? A what? Caltrop. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Oh, my goodness. So. Let me set my dog down so I can go get it real quick. <laughs> All right. 
I don't even have to set her down. <laughs> so a cow trap, which is a big deal, I guess, in the magnet fishing world. I just found this all out. So it kind of looks like an old school jack, the way it's okay. shaped. But this is what they actually used to put like on a pathway where the horses would walk and it would render them lame. No, and I this one. Of yes, I, I've got the iron antlers mad at me. He's ready to beat me up over this darn thing. Like it's just a cow trap, but it was a big deal. I was so excited when I found it. Our cow trap, like this is real history right here. And I was told that that town specifically has a lot of civil war history. Okay. So I'm hoping that this was a civil war cow trap. Nice. But yeah, uh, the, it would, the horses would step on it and it would hurt them. It would injure them, whatever. Mm-hmm. And, and now I have to find one. Oh, Miss T stopped in. Hey, babe. Yes. Like that's, I guess it's on like everybody's bucket list. I don't know if you've got a bucket list or if your friends have made a bucket list over there, but like, I want old school handcuffs. I want the yeah, old cool. school handcuffs. I mean, it'd be nice to find new ones too, but I want the old school ones. Like, and I actually worked at, at an adult bookstore for eight years. So okay. I need to find a toy, an adult toy. Mm. <laughs> well, I just have funny to. You mentioned I just have to. It, it's funny you mentioned that. A friend of mine actually did find one. <laughs> and really? Yes. And there was like, my group and I don't talk to this dude anymore because he went like ape. He went really nasty to a dude who didn't really deserve it. So we kicked him out of the group and everything. And I don't have time for drama and BS and stuff like that. Um, High five. So mm. Mm. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing, nobody, but yes, high five. Um, yeah. Jen has just sent me a picture and she wants me to show it. Sit down, Tony. Um, excuse me while I try to make the best of this. But when she was a foot, this is what she was referring to. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I can see a little bit. That, that looks really oh, fancy. Okay. Now, there's one more picture, too. Like something like this. So not a prosthetic limb, but this is a foot maybe like on a, to a stove, um, something of that nature type foot. Oh, okay. I can I see that. I can see it now. Yeah, I yes. can definitely I can definitely see that. Cause it does like underneath all the rust and stuff. Yeah, I can and it looks see, like she uh I can definitely see like some designs under the rust or something. That's pretty badass. Yeah, I bet you could. I bet. Um <laughs> I forgot what that chemical was. Somebody told me to start using all my... Oh, somebody told me to use transmission fluid, too. Like, when there was some time to clean it. Because I haven't cleaned this yet. Like, I put a little soap and water on it. But I never actually, like, got out the, the brush and cleaned it or anything. But, yeah, I was told to use transmission fluid. What is that? I can't read that. I'm blind, babe. This is Rust-Oleum. Like rust rust dissolver. Okay. Jelly. Anybody else use that in the chat? Um. So you definitely found some pew pews. Have you found a safe yet? Just a piece to the safe, and I found a cash box. I don't obviously have that here. A cash box. But there okay. is, I do have pictures on it, and somebody had spray painted it. Cash cow. Um, okay. <laughs> one, one, one day, we, it was, we went down to the river. We have a place called Browns Island, and if you want history, uh richmond it was the capital of the confederacy so you'll find a lot of history um and metal detecting like we've got bullets and all the different types of stuff from the civil war and stuff like that mm -hmm. but um i uh yeah we went down to this place called brown's island in downtown richmond and 
there was an abandoned homeless encampment. Like I guess the people had okay. got on their feet, got on their feet and everything, and they just left everything there. And we decided it was really cold and like the water was really moving fast, and we just decided we're just gonna clean this up. Why not? Okay. Start start cleaning up out there, and on that little adventure, we found eight cell phones, two tablets, uh, a shopping cart. Um, just a bunch of, I can't even remember all the stuff we found. I found like the bottom of a, a bong or whatever. Nice. Uh, <laughs> let me see. I found like, uh, that was mine. That Hindu, was mine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, well, it, it's in the dumpster in Richmond. Um, damn it. Found, <laughs> it was, um, I found a, an, a completely intact clay hindi deity like statue I okay can't remember the name of it i can't remember the name of it but i kept it because i thought it was cool it was like it's like an elephant with like four to eight arms and we all this all started when we were going to go magnet fishing and we wound up taking okay. it into this whole we went on this whole another level of hey we're going to go clean this up and maybe find some stuff in the water with the magnet. And yeah, so we found, just did that, just walking. Like we, we, we do mudlarking too, like, and just look for stuff. Like we'll carry the magnets in the river when it's low or the creek and we'll drag the bottom of the river okay. and go from there. Cause I've got, nice. like, I've got six mag, I've got six magnets. And they're all and broke. Yes, I got. I actually got three more coming, two for a giveaway and one I'm keeping. Now, when are you gonna jump on that Kratos bandwagon? <laughs> uh, when you jump on the brute bandwagon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like you weren't I feel like you weren't expecting that answer <laughs> yeah I don't know like I love my Kratos magnet I'm not gonna lie my first what two or three magnets were from Amazon my very first one was a gift um why is this not working my very first one was a gift um it, it was from Amazon it was a single sided I think it was like a thousand pound magnet. Then I was, then I bought myself. It was another Amazon magnet. Um, it was a seventeen hundred pound double sided magnet. Then I broke that one one day. I was so like, you should have seen me on the bridge day. It was just, it wasn't good for me. <laughs> but then I, um, my third one. When I broke that one, a girlfriend of mine, my birthday was in like a week or two. So she bought me one and it was another Amazon magnet. And when I did go out to Wisconsin with the Rusty Magnets, um, they traded me magnets. They actually traded. Me. So I was able to receive my first Kratos magnet. Uh, it was the Orion 2400 pound clamp magnet. And Talk about a game changer. Like these Amazon magnets, you know, like I said, I owned one, I bought them myself, but like they do nothing compared to what that Kratos magnet do. Like I've been on the same bridge for four years and I'm still pulling stuff out. And I don't think it's necessarily that I'm still pulling stuff out because it's just that packed. I think it's just, I'm pulling more now because of this powerful yeah. magnet. It, I, that's I, I mean and i agree opinion, with you no i agree with you because once i made the jump from amazon magnets to brute i was just finding things like almost every throw and yes like now, now i have brute has three 360 degree magnets i have all three of them 
Um, I have what they call the Jock okay. Buster, which is a tw- which is called which is a twenty one hundred pound single side. It's it's like a drop magnet, and then I got uh, the, a twelve hundred pound clamp, and I got an eighteen hundred pound clamp coming. That? And then okay, I got I got a magnet that will its full weight is forty two hundred and fifty pounds. This is a big boy. This is this That's magnet weighs like ten. This magnet weighs like ten pounds. I only break it out on rare occasion, rare special occasions. It's called the wildebeest. Mm-hmm. It it's the wildebeest. <laughs> If I could get it, get to it right now, I'd pull it out and show you. It comes in a case, probably like this big, and it's like, okay. hold on, I'm gonna try to get to it because it's it's ridiculous to describe. Arky said the Doc Buster is a ten pound behemoth. <laughs> wait, wait till you see the wildebeest. Ow. Have you guys seen that one that keeps popping up? The one that's square? Um, what was it called again? Um, the one from Magnetar? Yes. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I couldn't. Um, I'm not going to lie. My first opinion, just with it being square, was wouldn't that get stuck in places? Like, or easier to get stuck? Like, kind of love about, or kind of worried about, uh, if it were to get stuck places just because it's square like that. I don't know. The mega cube. Yes, that's what it's called. All right, let me move that over there. So this is the case. Okay, pretty big box. And this came with gloves and a rope and all the all the fun tools that go with magnet fishing. Mm-hmm. That should be um, standard. <laughs> And it's a little, it's a little, little dirty because I've been, I've used it, but this is the wildebeest. This thing okay. is rated four thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. And I put your hand up behind it. Yeah, it's a good size. Yeah, our that one says I'm... I envision getting the corners dashed off the Mega Cube. I would imagine. I'm not sure, but I would think that that's like a design flaw. That's my only concern with that Mega Cube. It looks cool, it looks dope, whatever. But I'm kind of I'm thinking about the design. Like, mm. I, I'm thinking with that. I feel like it's more of a promotional thing. Like, hey, look what we got. Don't throw it. Because I actually had like a yeah, little, I think it if, was kind of, go ahead. I think, if I remember correctly, when I looked it up, I want to say it was like 400 bucks, and they were only making like maybe 100 of them. Yeah, it's, to me, it wouldn't even be worth it. Because if they like, only so make 100 the of them. Just the shape of it alone. Yeah. The shape of like, it alone I'll, just kind of deterred me from it. Like, I want to see it in action. That's what I want to definitely see. doesn't everybody. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um, so what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, I can't think of what I was going to say. So, do you do you go out every day to magnet fish, or is it um, like a weekend thing when you're not working? I I go out every other weekend because my work schedule is seven on seven off and I work on my off week. I do okay. like five days. Of, I do five days of overtime and it's just easier for okay. me to go on, on Saturday and during the hunt, during like regular hunting season, I go on Sundays. Like I don't take, I don't take me okay. and my group. We don't take, we don't take off for the winter. Okay. We, we we go we still go through because we're that into it and that dedicated to it. 
Like we. Oh, gotta, believe me, if my if my river didn't freeze up here, I would do it every weekend. But our unfortunately, it does freeze. So you know, there's times where you can't go out. Yeah, I mean, like there is that. You, that's true. Like here, here in Virginia, our winters are either really mild or mm-hmm. oh my god. Like luckily, yeah. we in the t- in the t- two years that I've been doing it, we've been lucky and not had like a super heavy winter. But okay. we're hitting ninety. De- we're hitting ninety degrees in April right now, so I think we're gonna have a bad winter. You think so? Yeah, but it's okay if it's not snowing and the river's flowing. I'm going. So, are you originally from Virginia? No, I'm originally from upstate New York. I was born in upstate New York, and my family moved to Virginia from Florida. Yeah, because I, I don't know. I can't think of anybody, you know, part of our group or circle, whatever you want to say, Team Kratos. <laughs> I don't think anybody's in Virginia, and if they are, I'm drawing a huge blank. Um, as far as New York goes, I know Let's Get Magnetic is up there. You should check them out. They're pretty. He's him and his wife are pretty good. Okay, I I'll check them out. Let's, um, let's yeah. I need to start keeping a pad and paper yeah, near me. Let's get magnetic. I'm sorry. All right. I said I need to start keeping a pad and pen next to me. <laughs> to, to, I just want to, to tell me. you, everyone who jumps in my chat. These are all great people who don't want no BS, don't want no drama, don't want no problems. They all love to laugh, joke, have a good time. Some of these people are some of the greatest people you'll ever meet. Not saying that your magnet fishing friends are not cool at all. Don't get me wrong, but there's been some. No, no, I don't think like. What's the words I'm looking for? Maybe you guys can help me in the chat. Been weeding through, if you will. And we have now gotten rid of all negativity and drama and BS. So everyone who is in here is going to be a very fun, very friendly person. Um, And, and, and that's important in like, mm -hmm. not just with the magnet fishing community, but in the world itself, like we're, we're, we're in a situation in this, in this world where positivity needs to happen more than negativity. And, I don't have time for, like you said, drama and BS. Like I work in a place where drama and BS is a constant. So I don't want that <laughs> when I'm doing How it. did you stumble upon this job? Please tell everybody if they didn't catch it, what is your job? I am a corrections officer. I've been doing it for And how almost... did you stumble across that? Like Originally, originally a buddy of mine got me into it and then he moved on to the police department and then shortly after he left i left and then i went ahead and did the dumb thing and getting married no offense to anybody who's married but i'm not anymore <laughs> so that's why it's dumb um uh, i won't make that mistake again um but I, uh, that's how I got into it. And then like, I came back in 2016 and mm-hmm. I've been doing it ever since. That would definitely be quite an interesting job. I did work for the Illinois department of corrections for a little while, but I was only, only answering phone calls. That's it. That's all. That was uh, quite an interesting job, I will say. Just because I, I was actually dealing with people after they had already been out of prison, they're on parole. So I'm dealing yeah. with them when they think that they've got their freedom, but they don't realize that there is still some stipulations you got to stick to while on parole. Yeah. I, so I, a, lot, a lot of those I guys didn't. Mentioned it. But, oh, well. See, I work at a small women's prison. So. Uh-oh. That's just something different every day there. Because are we talking like it, minimum security, maximum security? Um, I do. My full time prison is a minimum, and the one I do okay. my overtime at is is the maximum security prison for 
the state of Virginia for women. So oh, wow. I get the I get the, I get the best of both worlds. Well, but, now you have to tell all those women all about Jay Don't Play so they can stay woman strong <laughs> with me. <laughs> I, honestly, when I'm at work and I'm around the inmates, I don't talk about what I do outside mm -hmm. because it's just they don't right. need to know. I don't need them following me it. on any social media. I don't need them stalking me for anything. I don't nah. I'm good. I feel that. I totally understand that. Like I tell I tell them every day they cuz they they start doing this stuff like hey friend, I said I ain't your friend. Yeah. And I tell them I said I said I don't even have yeah, friends. Yeah, I'm sure the there's street. there's like a wall that you have to put up with them a card or something. Yeah, I I like to they hit me with, you're such an a-hole. I said, well, you know what? I'm an equal opportunity a-hole. <laughs> I the, the most you important know, part about, go ahead. I, every day I get called some type of name because at my job, I'm I work by the homeless shelter. So when those people come to me, it's like they automatically just assume that like I have to pay for their stuff because I have a job and they're homeless. Like, baby, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. I so every day I get called some type of name because I don't give them or buy them or you know, whatever it is, something. It's like, no, it's that's just not how being an adult works. I'm sorry. No, like I I work hard for what I have, as as I'm sure you do. And I'm not trying to give it away every day because I got, if I get, if I give all my right. stuff away, I'm going to be in the right. position they're in. No, nah, I'm good. Like if you want to, right, I'm a like, single woman over here in Illinois paying all my bills by myself. Yeah. I, I just don't. It's don't expensive in Illinois. That. Yeah. It, it's expensive here too. Like I don't, know how we got to this point but you know it is what it is we 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 adapt and overcome yes yeah but i just i'm glad i got to meet y'all and hopefully meet y'all meet your some of the people in your chat that i can't really see hi knowledge um, all right <laughs> Always been one of my things. I'm, e <laughs> yep, equal opportunity a hole. <laughs> this is the guy who's just like me that needs to come with a warning label. <laughs> well, like I, I try to stay as, like I like to have fun, I like to goof off. I'm, I'm a big smart ass. Um, but I don't, like I don't like I put myself out there when I have to. If that makes sense. Okay. Like, I I've enjoyed it. coming in here. I've enjoyed coming in here. Y'all are funny. Y'all are great. I feel like y'all are great people. Hope we one day we can do this again. Maybe when I, if I ever go live on YouTube, I I do a lot of TikTok lives. But yeah, I've noticed. I feel because when you're live, I'm at work, so I can't really just sit there and watch. But I try. I know I got on there one day with you. Um, I think it was like the day after I'd even met you. I think, but. It's harder for me to watch during the day because I'm off at night, but I do see that you're on there because I'm still learning TikTok myself because it's only been like a week and a half since I made it. Yeah. So I'm still learning everything like that. Um, I'm trying. Like, I'm trying to um, figure it all out. I'm trying. <laughs> I, I'm actually, when, when I'm actually going live on TikTok shortly after we're done here. Okay. Um, just because I didn't go live yesterday because I got home from work and just passed out. It's okay. been a rough, it's been a rough week and it's only Tuesday. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, I, 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 I know. I, Tell I, me about I, it. I, I, I live my life. I survive life on caffeine and nicotine. I need I need to not do um, one of them. 
Can I say that here? <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to talk about nicotine. I'm not. I'm still learning all the rules with YouTube itself. I just know we can't cuss and we can't smoke. Oh, well, I apologize. They're I lucky I hop on. <laughs> They're lucky I hop on. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I apologize if I say anything or do anything that's going to get them to flag or whatever. Like. I don't, like I said, I don't do YouTube that often. I need to. And I appreciate all the subscribers that come in through you. I, I really do. Um, yeah, I want to make sure to everyone, not only, you know, don't just like this live, but go over to the River City Metal Hunter. Go over on his page. Subscribe to his page as well. Um. Everyone needs more subs. I think when I looked last week, I think you had like 60 something subs. That's yeah, no, not I think I'm lot. up to like, right. no, and I think, I think I'm last I checked, I was up to 80. And then I owe that Yay! to you and your, and, your, and, your, and your team. So I appreciate no that. No way. Yeah, I owe awesome. that to you and your team. And I, like I said, I appreciate awesome. that a lot. Let me warn you once you get to 100, YouTube is going to play with you. Like all of a sudden it'll be like, you have 100 subscribers. And then the next day it'll be like, oh, you're down to 92. And then you'll be at 102 and then 94 and then 108 and back down to under hundred. And it's like, why? I don't know why they do this, but it played with me. I couldn't keep, I couldn't keep hundred for the longest, but then yeah. all of a sudden I got to like 120 and I'm steady. I mean, of course I would like more, don't get me wrong, but I, I'm I, just happy to have. Uh oh, we have our first dad joke tonight. Why did the golfer pack an extra pair of socks? Uh, Why did the golfer pack an extra pair of socks? I don't know. I'm trying to think what is it like pars and bogeys and eagles? I don't know. I know this is going to be some funny pun dad joke. I already know. Oh, it is. Are you Googling it? Who, me? No, I'm, I'm responding to a text message. Oh. So why did the golfer pack an extra pair of socks? In case he got a hole in one. <laughs> I, I, I've heard Thank that you, before. Art. Have you? I just, yeah, I couldn't remember what it was, though. Oh, that was a good one. I like it. Yeah, we do, we do we do a lot of dad jokes. Um, we've had a blooper contest. I had people send me in their bloopers. Didn't have to be necessarily magnet fishing bloopers, but we we found some good bloopers there. Um, we did a uh, what was it a a pickup line contest on my channel. That was great. Loved every moment of that one. We and Jen from the Rusty Magnets, we put water in our mouth. And the, the whoever had the best, like, they had to make us spit the water out, basically. Okay. With pickup line. Okay. So, yeah, on my no, channel, no. I do like to have some fun. I do talk about magnet fishing. But everyone's telling me to keep doing these lives because everyone laughs and jokes and we're all having a good um, time. I just, like I said, tonight was just a bad night because Buddy, does anybody know, is Buddy still live? I feel bad. I won something and took off. <laughs> so I don't have a video of it because. Is Buddy still live? I don't have I'm a sorry? video of it. No, I don't have a video of it, but. Last September, I was in Kentucky with some friends of mine. We were going hiking and going to the Waverly Hills Sanitarium, going to ghost hunt. I do that too, by the way. Um, and uh, I do you like the cemetery walks. Yeah, this was a haunted sanitarium in Kentucky, and I got some very cool stuff, oh. like EVP, EVP wise and photo wise. That it's just weird mm. i haven't posted the i haven't posted the evp yet but the photos okay. and the video are are up on tiktok and instagram i think um but i went okay. magnet fishing. I, don't, I don't have an instagram 
Um, that's actually where I started my social media stuff. It was Instagram. That, I, yeah. Um, but I uh, went magnet fishing in the Ohio River and I slipped on some algae that I thought was sand. Not once, Ooh. but but like three times. That's not cool. No, and I wound up with a a big gash in my foot. <laughs> the day we were Mm-mm. going to the sanitarium, I'm I'm leaving a blood trail mm. from the sanitarium. So that was my my magnet fishing blooper. I wish it was recorded because I could laugh at it now. When it happened, no, oh I was not happy. I had um, I think. I want to say it was like only three magnet fishing blooper videos were sent to me. I think it was only three of them. Um, But Iron Antlers did win with his bloopers. And I couldn't stop laughing because he made a whole video of nothing but bloopers. So, I mean, I was just dying laughing the whole time. And, of course, he did win with that one, which was a very good blooper video. Good job, Beard. Um, an amazing Risha for recording him. <laughs> Trying to see. Yeah, everyone says that Buddy is still live. He keeps going and going and going and going. Our little Energizer Bunny there. Um, normally, Buddy does stop in and say hi and everything. But yeah, he's having a thousand, thousand K giveaway. A thousand K subscriber up. giveaway. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. I, I, you know, I like to see, I like to see my people succeeding. I like to see my people getting their subs up. Like, you know, me personally, I would take a million subs and not even take the paycheck for it. And I'm not doing this for any type of money or fame or anything. I really just wanted to meet some more of these magnet fishers. Um, you know, I'm not gonna lie. There's a couple I still want to fish with. Um, I did get to fish with a lot of them though when I went to Beloit last year. That was that was for the trash for cash event. And I got to shake Danny dips hands, <laughs> got to meet him. Cause I've been watching him for a few good years. And then yeah, meeting the rusty magnets and the iron antlers, Mark from two brothers treasures. That man is a trip and a half. Brockton, Brockton. Let me tell you what Brockton did. At the event. He came in, hun, dressed as like an 80 year old man pretending to protest what we were doing. <laughs> no, Which, that's and awful. there is a video I, I'm there is a video but Clayton from the Rusty Magnets and Brockton it was like they got to scrapping in the park nice so Clayton's over here fighting this 80 year old protester and really it's one of his own friends <laughs> that's awful that, that was a good move that was a good move like just know whenever you you meet Brockton, it's always a potty. <laughs> hey, I'm down with that. Brockton is hilarious. Um, Brockton, was it last month, you guys? Brockton found three live, um, uh, was it mortars he found? Like, he made the news. He was on newspapers. Like, Brockton, Brockton was finding some live stuff. And it wasn't all just in the same day. It was, like, the 1st, the 8th, and, like, the 14th of the month or something. Just live mortars and... Um, okay, so it says Buddy is wrapping up now with the final sticker giveaway. Ken stayed on his phone and I'm on mine. He didn't want to miss out on a chance at the coin. I don't blame him. I won something. I'm excited. Um, I'm sure a few more people will jump in here pretty soon here, Kevin, just to meet you. Um, when Buddy is done with his live. I don't know if Buddy actually goes live on every Tuesday, but normally Buddy does hop in my lives to chit chat with us. So I don't know if he's just doing the giveaway thing. That's so awesome. He got a thousand subscribers. Like I was just so freaking stoked to have a hundred. And I started giving my bracelets yeah. away. You know, when, what just that that was that was like me on TikTok when I mm-hmm. hit that first that when I hit that first thousand, I was like. People are actually watching me. What in the world? Yeah, I um, I don't have many. I'm gonna check and see because I like I just made the TikTok a week and a half ago, and I am still trying to figure it all out. 
Um, yeah, I've only got 57 followers on the Tiki Taki. I'm sure it'll pick up eventually. Uh, um, there's a a guy on TikTok. I'll I'll when I when he goes live and I'm in there, I'll share it to you. Okay. And he's not he's not what they call a grow room, but he is a positive community type person. Okay. And he he wants people to get connected, and that's okay. that's his main thing is get getting people connected. Awesome. And, that's where my following started from. But so we have our prison guard from Virginia who magnet fishes and metal detects and oh wait, I'm sorry, did you say you metal detected? I metal detect, I magnet fish, okay. I I hunt <laughs> anything outdoors. Hunt what? I love deer, bear, coyote. Oh, okay. I'm I'm a I'm a I guess what you'd call an avid outdoorsman. Well, like, as an avid alligator a lover, I'm trying to find me an alligator hunter. <laughs> I think they're. I think. I, I think they're mostly in Louisiana. Alligator hunter. Uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, of course, Louisiana, Florida, and Texas is pretty much where you're going to find most of them. I want to. I want to eat some alligator. Alligator is so good. Alligator is amazing. Have you had it? Yes, I, I love it. Oh my gosh, it is so good. So good, like amazing. Huh. So T just said that I found the best prize or I won the best prize of the night was the pinpointer. And that's awesome because I've been wanting to do this metal detecting. So now if I got the pinpointer, obviously I got to find the metal detector. So, well, you, then you won twice because you got the river city metal hunter in here. Bonus. And, and it looks like you have uh, Arky's approval. So it says, so in other words, Miss J he's normal. <laughs> Is, is is that approval? I think so. <laughs> I think so. Um, like I said, this whole community is great. Great. You know, there were some people that needed to be weeded out, but we're not going to mention channels or names, but we're all good here. This is a safe zone. We could talk about anything on my channel, even if YouTube doesn't allow it we find words to use instead of words. So yeah, I got, yeah, the I, got thing uh, I, I got, um, I got in trouble on TikTok for a week because I said a word that I thought would meant one thing in like real life, but TikTok had it meaning something else. Oh. And I got flagged. I got flagged for hate speech. <laughs> Which the the word doesn't mean what TikTok thought it thought it meant because they they go by the the Urban Dictionary de definition. Oh, it, it it's slang for suspect or suspicion. Why can I just not think? The, and... Just take the first three letters. Says. Yes. Yeah, so they that, that even though it means they, suspect. They, yes, they they said by using the word "sus," I was talking about the like the LGBTQ community. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, dead ass. Damn it! I gotta stop. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Stop. Not not on the YouTube. <laughs> I will. I'm said, working, yeah, I'm a few working. of them had to get the boot. They're just lucky they didn't get the boot somewhere. Because uh, Jen don't play yeah. that. Yeah, like I was telling a story about a conversation my nephew and I had, and I he used mm -hmm. that word. So I I was I was just going by what he said. Repeating and next thing it. I know, 
yeah, the next thing I know, my live gets cut off 30 minutes into it and I'm banned for a week. <laughs> like, what? Wow. So I appeal. Yeah, I don't have the media. option to go live on TikTok yet. I don't have that option yet because I think you have to have at least 100 uh, followers. It's something. 800 to 1,000 to go live. What? Yeah. Mm. Well, I guess I won't unless, be there anytime soon. Unless you get involved with the agencies, which I'm I'm a member. I joined one and it's helped me. Mm -hmm. I've learned a lot. But they can get you live live access before you reach that eight hundred or a thousand or whatever it is. Okay. Hmm. I'll have to check into that because like like I said, it's only been like a week and a half, so I'm still trying to figure all that out. Uh-oh, here's Maybe Baby. Maybe Adventures has stopped in. Welcome. How you doing tonight, hon? We always appreciate you for stopping in. Make sure everyone has liked this live. Make sure everyone has gone to River City Metal Hunter. Checked his, um, his YouTube out. He does have a TikTok, too, you guys. That's how I found him, on the Tiki Taki. It's working. <laughs> the Tiki Taki. You know, whatever these kids are doing these days. <laughs> yeah. Just, just remember. I am, has I'm not saying I'm against social media because I do have a Facebook, but that's all I've had. I don't care about the Twitters and the Instagrams and all the other whatnots. But there was one video. It was actually um, um, about a Frito chip bag. And I posted it on my Facebook and everybody was like, Jay, you have to, you have to make a TikTok. You have to post this Frito video. Like you just have to. So it was like, well, I'll put it up there and we'll see what happens. So I put it up. It was actually the very first video I had ever posted. Um, and I'm only sitting at like 60 views on it. Everyone's like, oh no, that video is going to go viral. It's going to go viral because it has to do with Frito. And we all know Frito chips are sold everywhere. So... Yeah, T, it's the Tiki Taki. Whatever these kids are doing on your Insta Twit, and I don't know what else. I, I don't. And like, the, I don't care for all that. The, 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 the face space in the my book. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Everyone's saying Buddy Biggs Raid. What's going on, Buddy Biggs Raid? Miss Sherry Lynn, how are you? Did I miss something? So, so. I keep saying Buddy Biggs raid, Buddy Biggs raid. What, what happened? Did somebody raid Buddy Biggs page? <laughs> I, 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 just, I was trying to keep up with his. I got a video on TikTok that's about eighty-five views away from seven thousand. Nice. That's the, and that's how to repair a chip magnet video. Okay. It's uh, like yeah, seven. more people are saying Buddy Ray. What is going on? Is everyone coming over from Buddy's channel? I think that's what's happening. So he must have ended and everyone's coming to my live now. So for everyone who is stepping in here, welcome. Um, I am introducing Mr. Kevin here from River City Metal Hunter. Um, he is part of Team Brutes. But we're all doing this for the same thing. So welcome, Kevin, everybody. What's up, Kevin, everybody? Uh, yes, a few people have stepped in, and I'm pretty sure it's all from Buddy Big's channel. But yes, thank you, everybody, for stopping in. Ken, what's up? Um, Chris maybe said that he just subbed to you, Kevin. So hopefully you'll get a few more subs after tonight's live, because like I said, my people are some cool people. <laughs> hey, I, I appreciate all y'all. I really do. It says they raid your live from his. Okay. I guess raid away. Just make sure you like and subscribe to Kevin here. Kevin yeah, Metal Detects. It. Kevin Magnifishes. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. Same. I, Same. I can do a little bit of this, do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and not have a clue. 
Yeah. But, but I'll, but I'll figure it out. It's done. In. Exactly. May yeah, not always be done. the right way. I know that's how, that's how my boss is. He had a guy come give him a quote one day for the potholes in the parking lot. This guy wanted like $1,200. And I'm looking like, are you serious? Like, I haven't put um, blacktop down in a while. Like, you know, they've got that stuff, like the patch stuff or whatever. I was like, I know I haven't done yeah. it in a while, but I told my boss, I said, I don't even think this is $100 in supplies. Now, I underestimated it. And ended up being like 250 in supplies, but I still went out there and did it myself. And he was just so amazed that me being a woman was even out there able to do this. And it's like, you know, my dad had a maintenance company and he taught me everything that he possibly could. Um, because he actually didn't want me to be like my mother, he wanted me to be independent. So yeah, I had no choice but to get out there and handle things myself. And that's what made me the strong, independent woman I am today. So thank you, Dad. Rest in peace. Love you. I mean, uh, yeah, people are still coming in. So welcome. Welcome, everybody. You guys have just missed so much. Yes. Tin Man said, just went and subbed to River City. So maybe you can hit 90. Because that. I think, yeah, maybe you can hit 90 tonight because I think you were at 80 when the live came on. So even if we can get 10 of you guys. To go over to River City Metal Hunter. Kevin does a lot on TikTok. But if we can get him on the YouTube with us. That would be great. Maybe you can start doing your own lives. and. Well, I'm, I can go live on YouTube. I just haven't yet. Yeah. I think... I think it said I could go live at like... I started to go live at like 50. But I'm okay. going to... Probably on Global Magnet Fishing Day, I think I'm going to go live on TikTok and YouTube at the same time. Um, awesome. I want to, I'm thinking about maybe doing Insta, TikTok, and YouTube at the same time, but I have to get another device because I only have the phone and the iPad right now. Oh, okay. So I have to get one more little electronical device there. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, these other but, people. Not not to change the subject, but I'm just very curious because you're meeting my people. Do your yeah. people have YouTube channels? Do you know these people no. that you're going out magnet fishing with? They 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 just started putting stuff on Instagram a couple months ago. Really? Um, yeah, I was the trailblazer with social media and stuff with okay. our group. So I'm I'm testing all the waters. Okay, that's awesome though. Yeah, it's Maybe like you persuade them, and now do they are did they all have brute magnets as well? Yeah, m most of my group, okay. my 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 little subgroup from the main group, um, is brute magnetic. There's one guy. He started the main group, and he's Kratos. And what is his name? Uh, Caleb South. Caleb, I don't what? think he South S O U T H. Oh, so okay, okay. But um, he doesn't, he doesn't have do a YouTube. No, he doesn't do a whole lot of posting stuff except on his personal Facebook. Broxton. Hi, baby. <laughs> Brockton is stepped in here. It says Brockton Magnet Fisher, but it should say Brockton Mortar Fisher because he's the one finding all these mortars. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my um my my little sub my little facebook group is called brute traveler like i said um that's where we're at on social media right now but after this week we'll be everywhere i see buddy stopped in himself buddy i promise you i was trying to watch and do my own live thank you for the win congratulations on the 100k or excuse me 1k subscribers i'm sorry 1k subscribers congratulations congratulations um i will send you my info i gotta figure out how to get a hold of you buddy i'm sure the rusty magnets know but i'll figure it out um get you my address and everything i pretty sure i sent you some stickers and stuff so we'll figure that out welcome treasure coast yeah a lot of you guys are popping up now that buddy's over brockton what's up baby how you doing tonight um, does anybody have any questions for Kevin here? Like, I'm just curious, like, 
I know some of you guys have missed some of the live watching Buddy, but does anybody? Chris says, did I win anything? Aw. <laughs> Mm -mm. Yeah, we got to get you and your crew up to date with this YouTube. And um, you can actually let all of your friends know that there will be an event. It'll be a 2025 event um, that I will personally be there. And pretty much probably everybody in this group or this chat right now will be there too. Um, but we do like to raise money. Excuse me, attitude. We do like to raise money for some type of charity. Next year is going to be for Shriners. I don't know if you know who that is. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, so Shriners, we will be doing something for them. Um, so, I'm I'm glad you brought up 2025 actually, because okay, my original my original my original idea for this year, along with the charity, is, but I couldn't make it work because my group doesn't have TikTok. Um, was okay. to set up iPads or phones or whatever in different locations and each one of us be in a different location and we're all live streaming at the same time. Okay. And we're all in each other. Like, I'd be in your live and everybody be, like, different. I don't know how I, how it would work, but, like, um, just, like, four people being... Brockman like is in people. here and he's the guy to ask about that. Okay. Brockton is the guy because I've seen him on other people's lives, but yet he was still live on his channel with the same situation. Jen said, Kenan. Okay. Felt that wrong. Yes. <laughs> Check your phone. Oh, I, 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 I just pulled it up and it looks awesome. I, 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 honey, I, I, I'm half blind. You're going to have to show me. Oh, is this the logo that she's working on? I didn't even get to see it yet. This is yeah, look closer, baby. Look closer. Let everybody see that. That's awesome. I'm telling you, yeah. Jen is the queen of this merch, man. I never showed you my cup. Um, When we were talking about, I know I got to show you my keychain and my shirt because I had a picture of them with me, but... Look at this beautiful cup this woman made for me. That's awesome. Yeah, got my name on it. Got my logo on it. I know it's kind of like bright and you can't really see the, from the glare, but man, she does her thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Everyone is telling me to put you on big screen. Let me remember which button it is. This one? I don't know. Uh-oh. No, that's not the right button. <laughs> this probably isn't the right button either. <laughs> Yo, what up? What's what up? up? What's going on? Well, right now, I only see yeah. myself on screen, but I was trying to put you on screen. So what happened anyways? And... Uh, what, are, what are we looking for? Brockton! What's up, baby? What up, what up? You just brought me up there. You don't see me? Oh, now I do. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry Lynn. That's Jen's work. Brockton, my Hello. water finder. How you doing? It's a party. <laughs> it's a party up in here, sister. Um, so River City Metal Hunter, what's up, man? What's going on? You know, living the dream, living the dream. Yeah. So, Kevin, what do you got? What uh, What is it that you were asking about? So, like, in 2025, I was thinking about trying to go, like, have my team in, like, like in their areas of the state or wherever and putting that, them on li one live, me on a live, the other person on a live. I just don't know how to make that work. So, we're stream all yard. in the same thing. Stream, yeah. You can do that whenever. You can do that right now, brother. All right. I got to get yeah. them. I got to get them up to speed with. Because that right now they're just on Instagram. Yeah, no, no. I mean, like if if you wanted to, like right now, um, as as she's on live right there, right? Like yeah. you see where I am. I'm I'm right here at my house, whatever, and I'm live 
you're live, we're all live, right? I could be detecting over on a beach right now and I can go live too and we can all join together and we'll be on the live. Okay. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, something like that. I just wasn't sure how to do it because I'm I'm not used to you okay. going live on YouTube. This is actually the first time I've been on YouTube live. Okay. Um, don't don't go on YouTube. Don't hit don't hit YouTube live. Go to StreamYard. Set up your set up your live on StreamYard. Don't okay. hit live yes, on YouTube. You cannot do this. This is StreamYard right here that you see. Okay. So if you set your live up, then you just hit invite guest. And you invite the guest, whoever you want on your on your stream, and they'll get a link. They pop up, and now all you guys are sitting up here doing whatever, detecting whatever. She's 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 pushing buttons again. Unbelievable, Jay! Stop pushing <laughs> Kevin, buttons. Can you please yeah. that push that logo again now that you're up by yourself? Oh yeah. Oh, she I love pushing purpose, your buttons yeah. back then. <laughs> yeah, I, I I figured that, Jay. This is the them. redesigned logo. <laughs> you crazy. This is the redesigned logo <laughs> that I'm I'm got in the in the process of being worked on. River City Metal. All right, a little bit closer oh. to the camera so all my people can see that. Nice, nice. Yes. That's my cool. old. Let me see. Let me see. If I can pull up my old logo. I think I still have it in here. Uh. But uh, come on now. Mm. No, I don't. No, stop that. My phone's being ridiculous. Sorry. Um, so, Jay, I don't know if you know this, uh, but I was just. Um, well, you knew that I was up in Buddy's live. Mm -hmm. right? I seen you over there cheating on uh, me. All Did right, you? so this was the, <laughs> this was my original logo. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, hang on. Let me find that button again. All right, there's the button. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe he said what the crap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so that is definitely a big change. Yeah, the original logo came into the play with being, you know, in the in the water, and then you know, pirates hunt treasure. So that's what I was doing with the pirate skull and crossbones. Okay. Kevin, wait okay. a minute. I see New York behind you. You from New York, bro? I was born in New York, about two hours outside of Manhattan. And how long you been there? Um, I'm actually in Virginia now. I moved to Virginia from Florida. Oh, okay, good. Um, but you're originally from New York. Yes, and I'm well, a diehard. For that fan. reason, I'm out. <laughs> Don't you start playing your games, Brockton. There he goes. I'm going to kick this guy's butt. <laughs> I just had to mess with you. Yo, Beard, what's up, bro? Get back up. Oh, so, so check it out. Beard, Beard is in the Beard is in the house, okay? Um, so yes, he is. So, so what I gotta do is I gotta I gotta tell everybody in here. I just said this in the last live that I was in, Buddy Biggs live. Charlie Clifford needs our help, guys. Um, she has a dog that she has to put down unfortunately she has to put it down and it is her i mean this dog is her rock and and everything i mean she she is um going through chemo and stuff like that with him and um it really no, well she's not going through chemo but he he was going through chemo and um a couple more bumps ended up showing up and they bursted last night or whatever. So she's been trying to get a hold of oh, no. a vet um, to, to set it up because she definitely has to let them go. And she doesn't want to like yeah. uh, go on, um, you know, um, having him and be in pain and stuff. And the dog's name is Loki. 
um, L O K E, I believe. And Charlie Clifford is actually okay. in the chat right now, so she's listening to it. Yeah, I um, did just see her. She told me she told me that it's a financial burden to put the dog down, and uh, it's going to cost about eight twenty five, eight fifty, whatever. I I remember it was eight hundred something. Um, but a lot of people already came through. Anybody can help. I would greatly appreciate it. Charlie, if you can go ahead and put your cash app in there, please. She doesn't want to even ask for money, guys. She did not even have a cash app. And I actually made her do a cash app tonight so I can send it out to the community. So, um, awesome. Iron Antler, I'd, I'd like to uh, actually do this on your live tomorrow, too, and see if we can get more help for her. But um, anybody, whatever you can do, anything can help her, honestly. And, um, and, and, and she definitely needs prayers. But, Charlie, please, I know you need prayers. Uh, she, she needs prayers because she's going through this all by herself. She doesn't have family, mm. anything like that to help her and stuff. And there's her cash app right there, guys. If you cannot do cash app, do PayPal. You can do my PayPal. Uh, send it to me, and I will send it directly to her. Um, this is my PayPal right here. You know, I, I totally understand, and I feel for you, Charlie, because it is, what, April mm -hmm. now? I had to put my black lab to sleep in September and I'm oh, still he's paying not that bill. Doing, he's not doing still. the live tomorrow night. Okay. I'm sorry, bad. Okay. That's fine. Okay. Maybe the rusty magnet. Yeah, I'm still paying that bill tomorrow. off in September. That would be nice. Yes. Okay. So, so cash app is right there. Charlie put, put theirs up. And if you if you don't have Cash App, you can't do Cash App. My PayPal's right there. Whatever it is, I really appreciate it, guys. Honestly, Charlie needs our help, and she definitely needs prayers. Um, so the Rusty Magnets said a hundred percent of Jen's merch proceeds will go to Charlie. Isn't that amazing, guys? And and that nice. that that right there is why that is amazing. I, I love the magnet fishing community for like that because regardless of whether you're team brute team creative, whatever, mm -hmm. we all come right. together to help each other out and we're That's all right. doing the same thing for the same cause. And yep. regardless of, like I said, regardless of the, of the magnets you throw, we're all, we're all one. We're all in, in it for the same thing. Absolutely. And, and, and the, mm -hmm. the way I'm looking at it right now is she has $145 that she did not have before. So just in Buddy Big's live, she got $145. So, guys, let's go ahead and give her some help here. Right. What um, are we waiting on, guys? Awesome. She's an awesome girl in the community, and she's um, she's always in the chats. And she's, uh, you know, she's going through this all by herself, guys. And, and uh, I, f I feel, like, so bad that... Uh, she 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 even said that I, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do it. I, I know I have to, but I I don't know if it's gonna be able to. Uh, I'm gonna be able to, and you know she already reached out to like her therapist and stuff like that because she's gonna need help, guys. So anybody at all, I know yeah, she, she she's seeing that she has friends right here in the community. She sees it now. I mean, before she probably seen it, but now she's seeing it a lot better because now everybody is coming through for her, and I appreciate everyone that has. Yes. And I put that right there at the bottom of the screen for everybody to see if you got that cash app. Send her a little something, 10, 20 bucks. Like, anything will help. I'm telling anything. you, it's April, and I'm still paying off my vet bill from September. Wow. I'm finally That's down to crazy. the last 350 like finally, wow. like, so it's in every month I go to pay that bill and I have that reminder of having to put my dog down. Yeah. And I'm terrible. Same way, Charlie. I got a lot of pride and don't like to ask because I want to be that mm -hmm. strong, independent woman. So I don't ask. But, but like, I, like I did say, though, even if you, even if you had, like, okay, say she has 145 now, okay? Say she ended up getting more, okay? Whatever she has left, 
honestly, she can go and apply for care credit. Um, I've done it. Yeah. And um, you actually pay a monthly fee. And um, yeah, you don't have to worry about putting cash out right now. You can just give them <clears throat> give them the uh, the credit card. They'll swipe it, and whatever it is that's left over, it's going to be a monthly fee instead of uh, a big hit, mm -hmm. just like that. You know, you did the care credit too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got approved right away for five thousand dollars or whatever, something crazy like that. So that was that was amazing. I got that um, good credit. <laughs> hey, it took it took a long you time to get that good it. credit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's awesome. Uh, if anyone wants to order stuff from Jen, order your merch so it can go to Charlie. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, anything that people are going to order right now, talk to Jen, talk to Clay, whatever you need. If she's giving proceeds to all of, you know, to Charlie to help with this, like that is such a great, great way for you guys to still get your merch and Charlie to still get some money. That's great. And Brockton, just for, you know, you coming up here and asking for her, that's great too. I think Brockton's froze. Oh, is he playing dead? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm texting. I'm texting back and forth. You weren't texting me, so it's not important. <laughs> texting Charlie. He said five percent off till May. Email the rusty magnets at gmail.com for all your merch. Yes, simple. The rusty magnets at Gmail doesn't get any easier than that. Order what you want. Proceeds go to Charlie. Maybe baby said that he just sent twenty five dollars. Oh man, awesome. thank you so much, brother. That is That's so great. awesome. Thank you. That is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Where did he send it? Cash up. What we did last year. <laughs> yeah, I, I left Charlie's cash yeah. app info right there. If anyone, okay, we got yeah. money sign Charlie Bugs C H A R L I E B U G G Z. Like I said, 10 20 bucks. Anybody can help her out. I personally know that them vet bills ain't no joke, not at all. My dog, my black lab, he made it 10 years, oh. one month, and one day. And we had taken him to the vet a month prior to find out he had uh, diabetic ketoacidosis. So the diet changed. We added insulin. Like it was something I didn't want to have to deal with. But you, you know what? Just mm. like humans, dogs get sick too. Jay, I, I built a I built a ramp for my dog because um, she's Aww. getting older and stuff. You know, she's getting older and stuff. So yeah, I had no. to... Uh, I had to build her a ramp. So if somebody wants to say hi to you, Brockton. Right, yeah. Look. Look, see it? Oh, you really did. Oh. Oh yeah. So, say hi, so Brockton. Uh, we can we say can hi, still Brockton. go down the stairs. Hey buddy. Uh we can still go down the stairs hi, and my dog can mm -hmm. go down that ramp now. So and what's funny is mm. she she did go she did go down it no problem, and um mm -hmm. I was I was sitting on I was sitting on the bench. Oh, thank you so much, Kevin. I appreciate it. Um, I was I was sitting on a bench right on right on my porch, and she's looking up at me right at the bottom of the ramp, and I say, "Come on, baby, come mm -hmm. on!" And she went right up the ramp all by herself. It was so awesome. Awesome. Uh, that's awesome, Kev. I appreciate that. Hey, not a problem. I somebody said for Kevin to look at his phone. No, Say Kevin, hi back look at your phone. Get back to some kisses. Uh no, I, I'm looking at it now. Um it's the it's the new mm -hmm, logo mm -hmm. for the uh for the group. 
<clears throat> T says hi. T says hi. I just made I just made a logo. I made a couple logos. So check this out. <laughs> Does everybody know Rob F. Alfanda? Okay, so uh-uh. Rob F. Alfanda and Charlie from um we uh, from from um digging it back. Okay. And Papa Ross, uh, Papa Rouse, that's Bill. So all three of those guys, it's so funny. All th- uh, Kevin, she said thank you. Um, uh, you're welcome. All three, all three of those guys. Um, what happened was, um, Charlie uh, from from um, from digging it back. He was doing his live right. So Rob, Rob was Rob was waiting for Charlie to come up. So Charlie comes up, and he had no shirt on, he had no hat on, and he's just like he's he's like, hey, what's up? And then Rob goes, uh, "Are we doing the live naked today?" And he goes, "Oh!" oh. Man. And he went, he went, he went and put his shirt on and stuff, put his hat on. It was so funny. And then, <laughs> and then the the uh, the next week later, Rob and Bill from Papa Rouse, they show up with no shirt on, <laughs> just to get at Charlie. Uh oh! Like, just was like, "Hey, how you doing?" And <laughs> it was like it was so funny. It was so funny. Um, but what it was was I I was like, you know what? I gotta make a logo for them. Uh, Cause they were talking about it and stuff, and while they were doing, did their you make lives, Cape Cod too? Uh, yeah. With the shark, right? Look, yeah, I made the shark. Yeah, look at the. I did see that. I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty cool. Three detectorists in a tub. Let's go, dirt <laughs> and you got all three of those I guys like in the tub. That that's a sitcom right there. You get three detectorists <laughs> in a tub. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my gosh, but, I like it a lot. I'm not gonna and, lie. And I did uh I did Nate's um this is Nate's right here. He ended up adding his um uh what is it, the QR code on the bottom. But I made that right okay. there for him. Hold on. Oh you gotta go up a little bit. What the crap? You got a glare. It's my, it's my green screen. Hold on. Yeah. Shut it down, Brockton. Oh, and I just saw you right. had a nice crib. <laughs> yeah. This, is, I, this I, is it. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> Dude, <that's laughs> right, no, I knew it was a green screen because somebody got me one time before with it. And then when there was Look, two people on live, check with that the same out, thing, I'm like, how's their house the same? <laughs> that's check pretty that badass. Out. I like that. That, that, is, that is awesome with the shark. I'm not going to lie. I'm really kidding. Yeah. That is cool. That um, is cool. But, but Jay, I appreciate you having me on. I gotta step off for a little bit. Um, I gotta okay. go handle some business. But I appreciate all y'all. I'll hope to come back on soon. And you know, see if we can get something together to where we all can get throwing together. That's cool, bro. But like I said, Definitely. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I will be back <clears throat> and talking with y'all again. It was awesome y'all are amazing people um it's cool man welcome and welcome and and it looks like you're drinking mountain dew so that's awesome in my book um i'm I'm drinking water (laughs) that's like i'm I'm drinking this water what do you got brockton don't even start with me brockton (laughs) We all know you love the Blackhawks. <laughs> hey, put your put your mouth right there. Stop it. Put your but mouth, Kevin, put your mouth there. come on. Yes. Before Roxy gets not us kicked out of here because he's dirty. <laughs> She's um, not monetized. I do want to. Yeah, they ain't paying me yet. They won't. They won't. <laughs> um, oh, there, but Kevin, you go. thank Rob. you, thank you for stopping in. Brockton, shut up. I'm trying to say goodbye. <laughs> this Rob, Rob naked. Um, yes, Kevin, though, thank you for stopping in, chatting with everyone, meeting everyone. I really hope 
that you and Jen get together and make some of these kick butt merch together. Like telling you, I wouldn't steer you in the wrong direction with her. That's what you need in your well, life. Well, I'm gonna tell you this. I just sent her a message in response to that, that in a couple of weeks, once I get my team sizes and everything, I'm going to yes. be getting some stuff. Awesome. So in, in a couple of weeks. That's cool. Uh, that'll and be just happening. because. And there's Bill. And just because you came up here, Kevin, let me know. Yeah. You don't have to say it on live, but let me know your shirt size. I'm going to have Jen make you one of my shirts. Big. Fat I'm going to have Jen make you one of my shirts. That's awesome. And I will do that is Don't awesome. you like my shirts, baby? Oh, yeah, that's a cool shirt. <laughs> yeah, look at her. She's crazy. <laughs> she, she, she making the. She's she girls want to say hi, Brockton. <laughs> she, she, she's, she's making the magnet pop just right. Yeah, right. <laughs> but yeah. This, 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 Jay, this is my size. Okay. I'm I'm fat I'm I'm fat guy. I'm I'm fat guy. Jen says that's Jen okay because she got up to six X. So we're doing good for the big boys too. Hey, but, um, you know what I saw? I saw in the sky. I'm telling with you, Brock. <laughs> I saw I saw um I, I can I say this on your live? Yeah, of course I can. I saw I big dicks in the sky. Stop it. I did. No, I'm serious. Look, Watch, we can't scare you. Kevin away on his first night, okay? We can't. Oh, oh no. Tr hey. Trust me. I'll, I'll I'll be back. No, listen. This is this is what <laughs> I saw in the sky. It was it was totally big dicks in the sky. Watch. Let me see. I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> this so is big dick. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, again, y'all are y'all are in y'all are amazing people, and I want to come back and do this again anytime, brother. And I want to try Definitely. to set something up one day where I can get out to come see everybody and we can all throw together. <laughs> I think it may be. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna have to <laughs> dick insider. Look at look at <laughs> Jen Jen just said that uh, what was it? I okay I got you better not up. that's my job. Size up to two Six XL. She got guy. up to six X. We heard that part already, yeah. Brockton. So you're like you're, you're thinking about the big dicks in the sky. That's why. Yeah, that's but what Kevin, we do appreciate oh, yeah. you coming I mean, up that's here. That's always on it my mind. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> on your mind and in your mouth. It's all good. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know what? For that reason, I'm out. <laughs> oh, here he goes again. He, he's fine. Um yeah, I don't know if you, um, you know, if you make any plans to travel or do anything like that, but uh, maybe Jen can talk to you more about Memorial Day weekend. Okay, um, that's actually when I'm going to be, when is Memorial Day? I can't remember. It's what, the end of April? No. End, end of May? Of May? I'll, be, I'll actually be on the road doing my eight state tour hang on maybe said my wife is getting my old one sorry jay what are you talking about what did i miss i missed something so it is the end of may okay, okay. i'll be i'm actually going to be traveling cool. tennessee kentucky indiana michigan all that stuff at the end of May, into the so middle what's of June. wrong with the Wisconsin in there? I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to figure it out how to get it in there. I, I'm, I got a, hey, I got a plan. I was to, always told sit on it first. That's just what I was told. <laughs> hey, all right, stop with the ASMR. But again, y'all have an amazing night. Y'all are amazing people. I appreciate all of y'all, all the love you've shown the River City Metal Hunter and everything. Um, I will definitely be back with y'all. I don't scare easy. I work in a prison, so 
How long have you been doing YouTube for, Kev? Um, I've I've had YouTube for like um, um, like a, a while, but I just don't do much on it because I'm doing a lot of TikTok now. Okay. I don't know yet, Chris. So you're doing a lot of TikTok now. Yeah, that's actually how I met Jay. Yeah, we could just get some more info, though. Maybe uh, Wisconsin could be on a pit stop for you. That would be great. Um, all I got to say is when me and the Gen Show get together, oh, then that. you will be scared. Yeah. 100%. Rocked in. What, You'll scared? definitely get black eyes. <laughs> I, I've had a, I've had a few of those in my day, but again, much love to all y'all. I appreciate you. Don't say that, Kevin. Don't say that. She loves black hawks. <laughs> I cannot deal with you. <laughs> well, wait, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa! Everybody's laughing. No, black. Hawks. I mean, say it fast. It yeah, the Chicago like Blackhawks. <gasps> Look, Chris said, wait, Kevin met Jay in prison. No, I have not been to prison, y'all. I don't play with that either. <laughs> Chris, All right. Crazy. All right, Kev, you got to run, man. I know we we, 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 we keeping you right now. No, you're, y'all good. I appreciate, like I said, I appreciate everything y'all having me in. Y'all are an amazing group of people, and I hope we can work together soon. Yeah, absolutely. You do magnet fishing too? I magnet fish, I metal detect, I hunt, I regular fish. Sweet. Sweet. Well, maybe, if, uh, maybe it'll, be, it'll be four guys in the tub. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but, but, Jay? Yes, sir. I, I appreciate you. And oh, I hope definitely. Y'all have a great and, work. Yeah, the conversations have been great, and uh, we will get together soon, hopefully. And we will be able to not only just jump on a live together, but maybe eventually get together and actually magnet fish. So that go. would be great. Definitely, definitely. Because not right. only I'm like, down. magnet fishing, magnet fishing has not only opened my eyes to a lot of things, it's also afforded me the opportunity to see places I've never seen. So, but again, well, now you're going to meet a lot great... of people that you've never met. Exactly. And that's the, that's the joys of this community <laughs> that we have. Absolutely. But, Definitely. Hey, it was great meeting y'all. Well, thank you great for stopping in. in chat. Make sure everybody goes to you. Kevin's channel and subscribes. And I will do my best to get some more videos up there <laughs> soon. Hey, Kevin. Yes, sir. Uh, before you go, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm the guy with I have blue balls. Jesus Christ. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and on that note, I'm, I'm, and, and with that being said, I'm out. Y'all have a good night. Peace, bro. Peace. Uh, don't worry, I'll take care of the blue balls for him. Mmm. <laughs> All right. Anyways. Rockton. Let's do some ASMR. Now that it's just me and you. What do you think about what? this, Jay? Oh. Think about what? Let's, let's do some ASMR. What are you taking a Viagra? <gasps> you are crazy. I shit my pants. What are you licking over there, you freak? What is wrong with you, Rockton? I shit my pants. Nasty. Did you shit your pants? No, I'm going to shit you a thong with my logo on it, though. Oh, shit. (laughs) (laughs) Are you blushing, baby? You say the damnedest things, let me tell you. I know you ain't talking. Hey, we'll put a little Black Hawk logo on the front of it, too. (laughs) With blue balls? Okay. Sounds good. (laughs) We need blue balls. My logo. (laughs) 
<laughs> Chicago Blackhawks Yo, logo. <laughs> have Have you guys seen the Mercedes ASMR TikTok? Good night, no. Charlie. Good luck with the dog. I hope, County I hope seat you get some says, money. I'm money. dying. I really do. Hey, good night, Charlie. Everybody, honestly, keep 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 Charlie in your prayers tonight. And um, right, even if you can't then, afford to send anything right now, a prayer does not hurt, and that's free ninety nine. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Mm-hmm. So we love you, Charlie. I still think about my Debo every day. I miss this. I miss this. My, my black lab used to smile. I'd hold my phone up and he would smile. He was ready yeah. for a picture. I missed that smile. Yeah. Yep. He was a big boy. Well, he was you, about 120 you pounds. Him, you, you have him in your memories. I'm sure you got pictures and stuff. So um, mm-hmm. that, that, that goes a long way. You know what I mean? Right. And I did have him make the yeah. paw print on like the clay thing. Yeah. So I do have his paw print. I do have his ashes. So Charlie, I don't know if you have the paw print, but maybe you should maybe think about doing that before. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's uh well actually the that, vet did it for me. Tough. Oh, that's great. I mean, maybe, I of course I had to pay extra for it, but the vet did do that for me. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Yeah, maybe yeah. Uh, maybe uh, but you can always go buy your own little kits. They have them. Just buy your own. Do it real quick. Yeah. But yes, I did get one of my Debo's. Okay. Oof, my boy. I do miss that boy. Yeah. It was my big old sure. cuddle bear. <clears throat> yeah, no, I get you. Yeah. Uh, the vet does that after the fact, she said. Uh, yes. County seat, yes. County seat Unfortunately, bed. yes. Yeah. I okay. was still just grateful. Just so grateful. You yeah. know, just that pop rate meant so much to me. So well, I sent it to you, Brockton and Jay. What, what yeah, I see that I haven't opened it yet, but I see there's some type of um link for the tiki taki in there. So I'll have to check oh, that out. Oh the link. I got you. Mm-hmm. Understood. Yeah, I'll check that out one day. Definitely. Um, Brockton, are you on um TikTok? Nope. Why not? Why why would I? I don't know. I just made one. How many do you have? How many followers you got? Only like fifty seven. Look up Brockton Magnet Fisher. <gasps> are you serious? <laughs> um let me remember how to even search my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness brockton b-r-o-c-k-t-o-n um it says that M-A- we're friends m-a-g it says we're friends yeah i know but click on it I got like 20, 20 something followers. Okay, well, tell your 20 something thousand followers to follow me too. <laughs> I didn't say thousand, <laughs> I said 20, 26. It's 26.8 thousand followers. No way. Are you serious? Oh my goodness, I just went up like thousands that's, of dollars. That's you, right? Yeah, that's, that's you, me. right? Holy <laughs> cow. I just went up. Yeah, 26.8 thousand no. followers. I was only at And you're only at following 261. <laughs> That's how I do it. <laughs> well, <laughs> if if you follow, follow me, but I won't back, follow you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm following you. Yeah, I bet I you think. will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're crazy. Uh, it a little bit. At least I'm not medicated off. crazy. Look at look at Chris's comment. Hang on, hang on. It pays to have blue balls, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I I probably this won't. This is why be I love you guys. Her anymore. Why? Because you know I'll take care of it. (laughs) 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 
Yo, you crazy, man. Where's I'm Mark crazy. at? I like I want you two together. No comment. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Bucky was in here, wasn't he? Oh, yeah, the on his huh? Wasn't Bucky Bucky was in here too before, wasn't he? What did he go Bucky, in? Bucky Braxton and Soup Brothers. Oh, that sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> we did we came up before together. Yeah, all of you came up one time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we we were hanging. A little bit to the left, but it's all good. <laughs> we were You crazy, man. Oh hold up, hold up, wait a minute. Sherry Lynn says, I have Hold two up. cats. Wait a minute. My girl's name is Batgirl, and my boy's name is Grandma's Turd. Oh, my gosh. Come here, baby. Come say hi. I want you to say hi to somebody. That's funny. Okay. <clears throat> oh, come up here, Sherry Lynn. This is my dog, and her name is Felony. <laughs> and she is. I'll tell you that. You, you say hi. You say hi. Give this for me. You give them to Sherry. Those are great names. Super creative. Brackton, what's your dog's name? Do what? What is your dog's name that you built the ramp for? We have we have two dogs and a cat and an axolotl. Jesus. Felony turn. Uh, no, it's Felony the, Sue. The elderly dog is Izzy. I Z Z Y Izzy, and okay. we have uh, Nessie and Izzy and, and Nessie, have, and Nore is the cat. A uh, Nore. Nore, yep. What it was when, when she when when he was younger, my kids were younger, so Noir was hard for them <laughs> to say, so Nore. Ended up being his name. He's okay. a black cat. So <laughs> we called him Nore. Let me tell you, my ex boyfriend, his name He's was Tavares. Blackhawks. Oh. He, yes, definitely from the Chicago Blackhawks. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, his name is Tavares. Tavares. My okay. niece and nephews could not say that name for the life of them. So he was just Tarzan. For years. <laughs> Tarzan. Wow. Just Tarzan. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. I don't know Wait, how Tarzan on. came get from them. Tavares, but Oh, there you go. Look at you. Chevy said, get them two together and we we'd have to break up the depends. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Mark. Me and Mark are crazy. We are. Oh my gosh, we Mark. Go Somebody hit him up. Ask him where the heck he's at. Yeah, we just go nuts, man. It's, nuts? It's, uh, Did you say nuts? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I it was said nuts. Well, that too. But, man, you're bad. You, you, you get me in trouble all the time. I'm not bad. I'm good. I just do bad things. Yeah. <laughs> um, what the crap? Good night, Chris. Maybe. Good night, my brother. Thank you for stopping in. That guy right there, man. We had such an awesome time in Wisconsin, right? Over yeah. at Jen and Clay's. Um, and, you know, at the event and things. Mm -hmm. Chris made it avail and made it um made it so he came pick me up at the airport and dropped me off at the airport. So he, awesome. he uh yeah, he was there for me, man. He was helping me out with everything. And um, when I showed up with the old man mask and all that stuff. Yes. Just, yeah. He knew all that about it. Awesome. He, he was the only that one that awesome. knew all about it. Yeah. It was great. I wish yeah. I'd met you guys before Beloit. I really oh, do. Yeah. Because, you know, I would have stayed the weekend with Jen and Clay, too. I I'm know, telling right? you, as much fun as we have, you, just, you, you might just not have gone home. Home. You just you just <laughs> acted like you had no idea who I was and you didn't even care. Honey, I had no clue who anybody was. Bro, I went over I and said you, hello I pulled to into you. The parking lot. Huh? I went over and said hello to you and you acted like 
I had no you. clue. Yeah. I'm telling you, I had no clue. I seen yeah. a sign at the front of the parking lot that said YouTubers this way. I went around the block like this isn't where we're supposed to be. I had no, no but clue. at the at the gazebo at the whatever it was that mm -hmm. we were sitting at. You were mm -hmm. over there with some kids. Mm -hmm, my nephews. OK, yeah, you were over there with some kids and mm -hmm. I was talking to your nephews about the mm -hmm. stuff that were on the table and you were okay. telling them you were telling them that you had to buy them you you can't just take them right and i started talking to you a little bit and then you're like oh yeah um i'm i'm a friend of clay and jen's or whatever and then i'm like oh mm -hmm. okay how you doing and then that was it like you just was like yeah okay just turn around and start talking to other people i'm like oh that was nice of her. <laughs> whatever <laughs> go you, after yourself you the warning label? <laughs> <laughs> i know you saw my warning label so i don't want to hear none of that but no i i uh, yeah, yeah, yeah i, had I saw no the warning clue what was going on and when i'm in ant mode like i could care less what anybody he has to say to me my eyes are on those kids like i just that's just me yeah i know you I know, know and no offense to you but no. hey not anytime taking. people come around my niece or my nephews anybody i'm always on point like who is this come on yeah. ray from the uk was talking to the 12 year old nephew while we were on the bridge and i looked mm -hmm. over and i saw it and i was just like who that is why is he talking to mm -hmm. my nephew of all the people here like i get protective and you know where I'm from, there's some crazy messed up people, Brockton. <laughs> like, Jay was on serious God at the mm -hmm. pavilion. There it is, pavilion. Like, who are these <laughs> lunatics trying to give me sunscreen? <laughs> <laughs> I know I look like a lobster by the Yo, time I got that's done. What those I'm two talking days. about oh, Jody. That's what I'm talking about, Jody. She she just didn't want anything to do with anybody man she was in her little corner over there watching her nephews i was like right and then don't forget okay. i'm over in the corner smoking yeah, i'm not no, supposed to be yeah i'm not supposed to be but you know i'm oh, gonna okay. take my break too like i know and i know somebody smelt some things around there so it was like oh shit now i'm in trouble like <laughs> <laughs> it was it was it was it was an awesome time, though. We had such an awesome time. Mm, just wait till we get together again, Brockton. We're not going <laughs> to get together again. Oh, yes, we will. <laughs> oh, nope, definitely not. Yeah, okay. Definitely not. Nope. I'm, I'm staying clear away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Steve even offered me sunscreen. Like, yes, everybody was offering me sunscreen. And the crazy part is, like, for once in my ever sunburnt history of life, I did not peel. Oh, yeah? Yes. Like, I was burnt. I was as red as my damn Tupperware lid up here, okay? <laughs> a blonde, blonde one was smoking cigs, and I was vaping. And? Well, I was definitely smoking. Yeah, she, she was smoking something else. <laughs> <laughs> who was somebody came up to me too who was it i think it was nick yeah i think it was nick and he was like um you're gonna have a little extra of that <laughs> oh really yeah he's like, he was like i have my medical card but there's nowhere for me to go around here and i was just like just take this with you bro <laughs> <laughs> you can have this one <laughs> This one's all right. Just, just go ahead and finish this one. It's all good. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good times, though. Like, really good times. Like I said, I wish I met you guys before I got to Beloit. It would have been so awesome if you did. And and then you would have went now back. Now that you all know me, it's on and popping when we see each other. <laughs> so when you're coming, right, Jessica, I'm just going to tell them, nope. Yes. I think I intimidate Brockton. He's cool through the screen. Yeah. But yeah, once I'm I get right there in yeah. person. I'm good. I'm good right he's now. Gonna, he's going to curl up in the fetal position. 
Look at look at why why not, Brockton? You skiing? Yeah, I'm freaking skiing, man. She's like what? Say it. <laughs> no, 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 I'm good. Oh, you scared to say it? Yes. Yes. Yeah, definitely. it sounds like a Jen. I think he's scared. <sighs> Yeah, I'm definitely scared. Yeah, see, see, Jody said I'm scared yep. too. Exactly. I am. I, I'm definitely scared. Absolutely. Don't be afraid of me. I'm usually nice. Usually. Oh, T said, heck, if I had known you before, I'd have been hanging out with you a bunch. Of course, yeah, T. Well, I'm telling you, you know, I can't wait to meet you with a hug. Like, like, honestly, we, yeah, we talked, but we didn't, we didn't know you like we know you now. That's why. Right. That's why really, and then here I was, really that like, one video posted on YouTube, and you guys are all looking yeah. at me like, who's this chick? Who's this chick? Who's Jay don't play? Like, well, no, when, when you told me you were Jen and Clay's friend, I was like, oh, okay, that's awesome. I just thought that you were like just hanging out with Jen and Clay at the pavilion. You know, I didn't know that I had, um, you were actually in the. Oh, yeah, no, I did know that you were in the comments and stuff because you were under Jay Don't Play still, right? You know, I've always been under Jay At Don't Play. Time? Yeah. Um, But I don't even think, to be honest with you, I don't think I had even been on a live before Beloit. I don't. <laughs> you, usually, usually nice. Just don't offer her sunscreen. <laughs> you guys don't think I was being mean because I didn't use your sunscreen. I have a process with my skin, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I have to burn the first time. I have to. First time out the year, I burn. I turn red like a lobster. And after that, it's straight tan. So I got to get that one burnout. Yeah, that's how I was when I was a kid. I burned like crazy first, and then I like was tanning, tanning, tanning. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm older than you. Just out of curiosity, how old are you, Brock? Then? None of your business. Okay, just tell me the year you were born then. <laughs> None of you. Oh. How, how, old, how old are you? I'll be 38 in August. I ain't got no shame. I'm not scared. Wait, you said 38? Yeah, how old do you think I was? You could be my child. Oh, talk to me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you crazy. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You can't be my child. So how old are I'll you, Brockton? How old do you think 40? I 40? How'd you know? I Honestly, I would say between like 40 and 45. That's my guess for you, Brockton. Oh, that's nice. I appreciate that. I'll be 49 this year. Oh, just how I like them a little older. <laughs> Not really messing. Such a pup. I don't know if you guys noticed the last uh, Chicago Blackhawks. She's Hawk like seducing me live. through this friggin' life. <laughs> Are you blushing again? You're like seducing me with my clothes on. I don't understand it. You know, remember that one video I sent you and it said BMF no. on the underwear? Oh, yeah, 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 that one. I got my own. It, but no, too. it wasn't. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't her underwear, guys. It was somebody else's. It was. It was a. No, it wasn't my underwear. I am not sending I, I, yeah, underwear was, videos she to. She Brock. doesn't do that, <laughs> dude. Everybody's gonna get like the wrong picture or something. I'm just letting you know that she. Are you worried? Sent, yeah, um, she sent a. You video care what people of, think, Brockton? Yeah. Um, Why? She went. She. Yeah, she sent a video of a chick that had BMF on the back and her. But should, should I play it? Like this. Should no, I play no. it? Okay. Are fine. you sure? Sure. Why not? 
told Brockton, I was like, I found your biggest fan. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Hang on, let it load, let it load. Come on, your phone sucks. Okay, here it is. Look at this, guys. BMF. BMF. Yep. There it is, the shaking <laughs> butt. <laughs> it's bouncing. See that? The B and the in the the M and the F. Oh my goodness. I I, I I would have to say that I watched it probably about sixteen times, but that's okay. That's all right. Hey, that's okay. <laughs> I sent it to Bucky too, right? <laughs> Sorry, sorry, and sir. Brockton, you I fell said, into that I one. Said, Buck, I, know. I said, look, I said, I found Brockton's biggest fan. And he goes, shit, I think I'm her biggest fan. I'm going to need some alone time right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. He's hilarious. Yeah. Oh, my that's, gosh. That's, that's him texting you saying, why did you just say that on your live? <laughs> Oh, no, it was actually from Mr. Kevin for himself. He says, thank you for having me on tonight. I appreciate you and your team. Y'all are amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Nice guy. Amazing. He, he really is a nice guy. He really is. I'm telling you, this past week, yeah. I've been talking to him a little bit. And, I mean, nice guy. He's got a lot of stories because of his job and everything. And I find it pretty cool because he's working in a women's yep. correctional facility, not just the typical male correctional facility. Not that women are criminals, but I think it was no, pretty cool. No, not at all. Like not at all. Women women don't do anything wrong. Um, nope, never. Women, women don't fight either. Uh, is <laughs> it, it, was, it was too, it was hot too. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, women hey, farting are hot? Is you, that what you just said? No, no, I, I definitely didn't say that. Can you say I just want to clarify women? that. I want to clear the air real quick. Yeah, you, you probably have to clear the air after you farted. Um, <laughs> what if old BMF booty over there farted? Would you still be interested? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Jay and Brockton in chat. Marvin Huff, what's up, brother? How are you, man? Good to How see you, How you doing? Friend. Yes, uh, everybody for coming in. I do appreciate each and every single one of you, man. I bet he has great stories, T said. Yeah, I'm sure he does. <laughs> well, if, uh, if nobody is subscribed to him, make sure you go and subscribe to his channel. Uh, what was it? River... Treasure Hunter River City Metal Hunters. There you go. River City Metal Hunters. And I just, I find it so crazy that like him and his friends don't even do this on YouTube. Like here we are, a whole magnet fishing community, even before all the BS a couple months hey, ago. Hey, what's up, Mike? We were all together on YouTube. We were all doing the thing. We were all, you know, totally vibing and everything. And then whatever, whatever. And here we still are. It's a smaller group, but I like this group better. Absolutely. Hey, Mike. I like this. Group. Good to see you in here tonight. Everybody. Yes, everybody was stopped Mike. in. And then I just got raided from Buddy Biggs. <laughs> you know Mike, right? Mike. Hunt. Hang on. What's his channel name? Hunt. Hunt. I don't see that. Yes. What's his name again? Oh, you so stupid. <laughs> it's Literus. His last name is Literus. No, no, no. It's Mike Hunt. No, it's Literus. No, 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 no. Mike Hunt. Say mine fast. Say mine fast. Mike Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> now say mine fast. Uh, Mike Literus. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> I knew you yeah, had I, one. <laughs> I just hey, listen, listen, listen. Who makes who makes more money? A drug dealer or a hooker? Oh, wait a minute. I just heard this joke. Hang on a minute. Somebody just told me this. I, I no, I you did. You. I did. So so chat. I know it was it was the Who hooker, made... though. I know it was the hooker. Wait, hold on. Oh, come on, man. You just ruined it, man. I was just going to ask them, who makes more money, a drug dealer or a hooker? Now, 
you don't you don't have to know because Jay just said hooker. Okay, yeah, it is the hooker. You know why, guys? Because she can answer, wash though. her crack. She can wash her crack and resell it. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> that's that's a badass joke. You kidding me? That's badass. <laughs> I lo- you don't know. I need to start telling that at my job because what you're talking about is all over that neighborhood. Like, real bad. Like, what happened? Like, I open my job. Like, I open the door and I yell out the window or I yell out the door. Crack a doodle doo. <laughs> Crack a doodle doo. There you go. Yo, oh did you did you and see the uh, park did you right see my new video? Street. I call it Crackhead Park. Did you see my new video? With, what the one from OnlyFans? Uh, yeah that one no i didn't see that one yet no, i'm not no, paying no, twenty dollars for two minutes <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no no i'm talking about my youtube my my youtube uh, video um so, so what happened was I, um <laughs> i was i caught a i caught a spoon and we're doing magnificent. <laughs> I was like, oh, look, guys, I got a spoon. It says made in Korea, used for crack. Oh, wow, that's awesome. It says it right on there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, it was funny. Just a little bit, Sherry Lynn. And I'm not the medicated one. I'm not either. I don't. I don't medicate. Mm. I mean, I myself medicated. Medicated. I'm myself medicated. You are the medicated. Yeah, see, you are medicated. I'm not. Self medicated does not count. Oh, self medicated. Is, is that what they call it now? Well, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Doctor didn't medicate me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you insert your medications? <laughs> No, I inhale it. (laughs) Oh, man. What is this big big black thing you keep holding up to your mouth? (laughs) That's that's my microphone. When I have it down here, you don't really hear me, right? Mm -mm. Can you hear me all right? Can you hear me now? (laughs) Can you hear me now? I mean, I can, but yeah, put it back up to your mouth. No. <laughs> Shut up. You're an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. You're an idiot, Brockton. I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. But it seems like one? we all still love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways. Anyways, Brockton. Anyways, no more mortars? Sorry. What's going on? No more no. mortars? No more mortars. Mm. That's no fun. How about you? Did you did you get some mortars? Just the mortars I carry around with me all the time. Oh yeah, those. <laughs> yeah. Those are fucking cannonballs. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they found cannonballs over there, though. Um, wasn't there eight in Beloit total? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, definitely wrong. How many was it? Five. Oh, okay. I thought it was eight for some reason. No. So, uh, Mark got one. Um, the Black Dog mm-hmm. Adventures or whatever. They ended up getting two. One was bigger than the other. Mm-hmm. Probably naturally. Probably, <laughs> probably, probably self medicated. Um. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe blue balls on one side. <laughs> I cannot oh, with oh, you. Jody Jody said six. Really? I thought there were five. It was six? Bro. I thought there were five. Because it was yes, Mark it does, Sherry. One, Black Dog Adventures, whatever had two. That's three. Mm-hmm. Uh Anita, Anita had one. That's four. And who had the fifth one? Anita and Brian had one. 
uh, and there were, I thought there was five. There was one more that somebody had. Who was the other one that had the cannonball? It wasn't Jen and Clay. No. Somebody else had a cannonball. Hey, Esther. Esther's my neighbor. Show that woman some love. Let me tell you about those enchiladas she made me last night. Mm. Whoa, wait a minute. Uh, mm. are, they really, are they really enchiladas? I mean, I like tacos. No, I don't like hot dogs. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it was rice with some beans and the enchiladas. And, like, I was... It was amazing. That's all I got to say. Like real Mexican food, not none of the stuff that be around here. Yep. Like real Mexican food, authentic. Oh, Ken got one. That's right. So it was Black Dog 2. Ken, mm -hmm. Anita, and, Anita and Brian got one. So that's four. And then Mark. And then Mark, that's five. Where's the sixth one? You missing somebody? One, two, three, four, five. Ken found a great Black, Black Dog didn't have three. I thought Black Dog I had don't remember. Two. Jody said two. Connie C said three. Mrs. T... Is correct. Black Dog had three. Really? Huh. That's awesome, though. That's, that's you, history right there. Yeah, no, that's crazy, man. Um, that's history. That's great. What's cool is they had the bomb squad come out, and they did x-rays on the mm -hmm. inside of the cannonball. And they, they said that it was okay to keep. That was awesome. All of them? Yeah, every single one. That's awesome. That's what's up. Mm -hmm. But That's you what's know, up, you know what happened with uh with Mark. Mark couldn't even bring his um his cannonball mm -hmm. because he had to fly. Yeah. You know? You probably can't ship that either. You, you, you know, you can't. I, I ship my pants. Jesus. Did you ever see that commercial, Jay? Which one? I ship my pants. No. Oh, my goodness. You got to watch it. Watch. Hold on. Hold on. You're going to laugh your ass off on this one. There it is. Uh, uh, you want to hear a joke that you tell somebody who has no butt? Oh, jeez. <laughs> hang on, man. Hang when on, someone, hang on. When someone has hang, no hang butt, on, you walk hang up on, to... Hang on. Hang uh -oh. on. Hang on. I'm presenting my screen, sharing it. Ready? Hold on. I'm waiting. All right, you just got to grab it and share it. Oh. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I'm waiting. Well, put it back. Put it up. I'm working on it. Chill out. I got to hit the right button, bro. Got it. Okay, ready? Here we go. Uh, ship my pants. Right here? You got a pants. Ship my pants. You're kidding. You can ship your pants right here. You hear that? I can ship my pants for free. Wow. I just may ship my pants. Yeah, ship your pants. Billy, you can ship your pants, too. I can't wait to ship my pants, Dad. I just ship my pants, <laughs> and it's very convenient. Very convenient. I just ship my drawers. I, I just ship my nighty. I just shipped my bed. <laughs> if you can't find what you're looking for in store, <laughs> mart.com right now and ship it to you for free. <laughs> Was that badass or what? <laughs> that was great. Yeah. I'm trying to find this one commercial that got banned from TV, but it was like the greatest commercial ever. 
Oh, 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 Jen said Bomb Squad took one. So that's why I said there were five. Oh, I got you. There it is right there. Hold on. Jen, Jen, uh, Jen put it. Black Dog 2. Hold on. There it is. Black Dog had two of them. 65 pounds and 8 pounds. That's what I thought. And Bomb Squad took one. No, Bomb Squad took one. Yeah. So, Jen, there were five in all then, correct? Were they five or six? That's the question. Did I thought there were five. Farve. Yeah, I did. I freaking <clears throat> screwed up. Farbed. Farbed? I, I don't know why I said that. I don't talk like that, Jay. We know you got English problems. It's all good, though. We know you got English problems. We know it's all good, though. <laughs> it sounded just like her, didn't I? <laughs> you trying to go out on me? You you trying to go in on me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. You trying to go out with me? <laughs> no, 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 no. You trying to go what in on say? me right now, Brockton. Go in on me right now, Brockton. I definitely don't sound country. I know I don't sound like. I definitely a don't sound country. All right. Uh, it came out, out of business. Yes. English. <laughs> so you At don't least think that I you speak have freaking English. So you don't think that you have a country accent? I am yeah, from five. the Chicago Jen, land Jen area. Five. There's see, I knew there's it. there's no um there's no country accent when you come from the Chicago land area. But the crazy part oh. is I have heard that like my whole life. What? That I sound like I'm country or something. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Okay. That's okay, everybody though. else seems to understand me. <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know. No, you know what? You don't have like a country draw like some people that I know, like T and Ken. They have a crazy country. No, I'm just kidding. No, they, they have the uh the Wisconsin just like Jen and Jen and Clay, same thing. But you, I don't you even hear, hear from somebody, Jen and Clay. I don't want to hear somebody talk very southern. Talk to Jody Mosby. He's got you know me and Jody don't talk job. like verbally. We text, we Facebook the... back and forth and stuff like that, but we don't actually just talk. So I don't uh, know yeah. if I've actually heard Jody's voice except for when we did the blooper video contest, and you missed that one. That was a good night, Brockton. <laughs> yeah, Jody Mosby has a has a real thick uh, country accent. And, well, isn't uh, Jody in Arkansas? Yeah. You know, I did live in Mississippi for one year when I was in the second grade. See, see, country, I'm proud. You, you dang Yankee. <laughs> uh, it was so um, funny. I, I was like, I was like, so Jody, what do you think about this? You know, that we you know, we're 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 um we meeting up with everybody and having a fun time and stuff at you know, in Wisconsin, and he's like, well, what is there to think about? I mean, it's Clay and Jan. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it was so, it was so awesome. It was, you know, it, it was great. Wow. I mean, I, I, I like hearing Beard talk. Everybody. Beard, oh my goodness, Beard has like a huge southern accent. Uh, it's so funny. Beer definitely reminds me of when I was living I in Mississippi. Him like sometime too. Yeah, I mess with him sometimes too. I know you ain't talking with your crazy accent. I don't have an accent. You all have an accent. Oh, don't try to talk straight now. <laughs> oh no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking straight. I'm. I'm saying that all of you guys have the accent. I don't have an accent. You're full My, of it. No, I'm not. I'm yes, serious. You are. My, 
No. When you say you're potty, full of because you shift your pants. Yeah, exactly. I did. Yep. I, I, and your I little just fudge shack down there in your anus. I just your shit my bed. Yeah, your anus, <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Mm -mm. See, see, Connie, she said accent. What accent? <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't hear one from like Clay and Jen. They talk normal to me. Um, I. Uh, what? You, normal? Normal? Yeah, you gotta remember that's like a Midwest thing too. Like we normal, y'all ain't. Oh man. <laughs> back up and back up in the house, BMF. Sherry Lynn is from here as well. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Sherry, see, Sherry, uh, Sherry is too. <laughs> it's funny, Jody. I need more of them barbecue cup. I love them for my crafts. Um, you know, uh, that is a cute little store, logs, uh, fudge candies. Oh, really? The Fudge Factory. That's um, my money mess is saying that it's a cute little store. I, uh, I, I would love. It. Oh, I would love to go to the Fudge Factory. I couldn't wait. In Uranus. Look, I already know you got a crush on my boobies. We ain't going all there too. Whoa, 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 whoa! Who said that? <laughs> well, I did. For that reason, I'm out. Oh, here we go. Brockton doesn't want pe people to know things again. <laughs> people are gonna start thinking things. <laughs> yeah, I um, I gotta go to bed now. I I have work in the morning and stuff. It's already ten for. Oh my goodness, it's already time to go to bed, guys. Thank Aww. you so much for hanging out, and Jay. It's been a pleasure. Always, baby. <laughs> or excuse me, so daddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get out of here and let, until it, it is going to get worse. <laughs> oh, it's going to get worse. Well, Brockton, just to be real, just to be real with you. Oh, I hope you have a good night yeah. and have all the wet dreams of me in the world. <laughs> He's like, you had to say it. Now I'm going to. <laughs> I was on the phone. They don't play up I was, dark. It doesn't matter on, if it's light out, babe. <laughs> I was on the phone with Clay when I was like, I had you up on my computer. I was like, yeah, Jay's uh, live. Are you on there? And he's like, yeah, we're, we're watching. Jen, Jen has it on. And I was like, huh, okay. And uh, I said, you know what? I'm going to go up and hang out. And I said, I don't know if that's a good idea. I said, let me just throw something in the chat real quick and see what happens. So then I, I said, watch, watch. She's going to stop her stream and be like, Brockton, you know, come on up. Yeah. Come on, you know? yeah, exactly. And Clay goes, Clay goes, oh, wow. Yeah, you were right. It was funny. It was funny. Look, I hang out with all guys. Yeah. Like, there's always guys around me. I I don't mingle too well with girls, okay? I just don't. I think I have, like, too strong of a personality. And there is something about you and Mark <laughs> and Bucky. Like, I just love you guys. Like, you guys are awesome. You're fun. You're hilarious. Like, you don't get offended when I talk to you. And No. You know, just. Yeah, we cool. We chill. We chill. Yeah, we I. <laughs> no, that's that's awesome. No, that's awesome. Honestly, um, no, I like I like hanging out and stuff like that with you. And and uh, you're 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 a good kid. <laughs> oh, are you confessing your love for me now, Jesus? I feel like I should get a Kleenex. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Have a good night. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> good night, Braxton. Wet dreams. Good night. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Jeez. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. Clay said true. Guys.
I appreciate each and every single one of you in every single minute. I understand you guys are busy with Buddy. Um, Clay and Jen, if you're still on, I don't know if I have his info for sure, like a Facebook, a Snappy, a Twitter, whatever these kids are doing these days, please let me know. I can get in contact with him so I can win my pointer. Um, yes, but I do appreciate every single one of you. I hope you all had a good Tuesday. We were supposed to have like some severe storm tornado type weather again. So you guys almost got a weather report again, like about a month ago I did. Um, yeah, I see more people are getting wristbands though. I think it was Ann that just hit me up last night. Um, my daughter really gave me crap after she moved to Boston and heard the difference between us, be, hang on, between out there and us and rubbed it in big time about how we talked. You know, I think the Midwest does have like a little bit of country to it. Maybe, but it's not like down south slang. It's just different because when I lived in Mississippi, they all looked at me like, you ain't from here, are you? And no, from Illinois. And then, of course, we were called Yankees and everything. So, yeah, whatever it is, what it is. But um, we all speak. We all hear each other. Uh, Brockton, you logged off. Get out of here. <laughs> Yes, hopefully I will see you guys all next Tuesday. I will try to plan that better to where, uh, no, there's not a premiere and a live while my live is going on because that live was way cooler, way better. So, but look, guys, I appreciate every one of you again for stopping by. Thank you for taking the time. To come hang out and play with Jay. Um, I'll see you next Tuesday. Maybe we'll do some giveaways. Um, in the meantime, talk about me. Share me out. Tell your people about me. I'm sitting at like 120 subscribers. I would like to get more. I would like these lives to be a little bit more fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed Kevin's company tonight. He seems like a pretty cool guy. And other than that, I'm going to shut up and let you guys all go to bed. And whatever dreams you have of me is whatever dreams you have of me. Good night. <laughs> Thank you again, guys. I will see you next week.